Hello and welcome everybody. <laughs> I think we're gonna have actually the derby of this week tonight coming up uh, with uh, we'll look at them. We got Ulysses on one side, we got on the other side Les Ornithorings Roses, the Pink Platypuses with their amazing, amazing, I gotta say, um, logos. That is unbelievable. I do have to also point out something. We're gonna have a bit of a different... Um, um, stream tonight because at the last second Leech really wanted to get the slot for uh, for this and I do hope um, and I do feel it's appropriate for him to uh, get the slot tonight uh, so I will restream his point of view through Discord uh, without further ado by the way by the way everybody if you guys don't know it is Leech's birthday uh, and you should give him a big 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 happy birthday um, hello there, Adelion. Uh, good to see you, sir. Welcome, welcome. We got Rafi in the house. Bon so almost you and bienvenue. Thank you so much for uh, the translation over there. Or um, uh, how do you say it? Merci beaucoup pour la translation aujourd'hui. Let's see. We do have Ethi Anthony, good evening, sir, and uh, traduction. Okay, it's traduction. Okay, uh, Eric Offing, good evening, sir, and um, you are asking about the uh, Justice co casting tonight. I do not know. He did show up over here, good and up on Justice. I'm not sure if he actually wants to. It will be kind of a weird, um, um, how to say, uh, endeavor here because, uh, like I was saying, I'm restreaming, so I can't really restream for him. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, it's gonna be a bit weird, uh, delayed. Uh, Sino no me, good evening, sir, and welcome we do have also um, uh, let's see we, let's see let's see uh, old triangle good evening sir and welcome welcome we got late 0225 in the house good evening and i do hope uh, we're definitely gonna have a safe gift uh, this year as soon as i get the information i will um, uh, relay it as you know me also, hello there, Angie, Jimmy, and welcome, welcome. Uh, Escar uh, we, we, <laughs> Escar go baguette. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, we, let's see what's going on here. It looks like, um, and I do hope. By the way, it's everything. If it's everything okay, right? You, you guys can see the screen, okay? You guys can uh, do everything here. It's all, it's all good. I think it's all good, right? I see the map, and I think it's all good. Um, we're gonna have Pangea tonight, and uh, that's fine. Uh, and also, Justice is saying I'm looking to play a game later on uh, so myself. So also, I agree it would be a bit too much. Okay, and thank you so much. By the way, it's always a pleasure, Justice, uh, to have you on the stream. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much for also joining me on uh, Saturday. Uh, was a very very welcome um, presence over there. Uh, coming up with uh, Map Pangea multiple times, we've seen it. We do have uh, the players uh, quite in a close proximity to each other, and because of that, they do tend to pick uh, civilizations with uh, quite early bonuses, uh, classical, medieval timings. Uh, we're going to need to see if they're going to go uh, the same way, or we're going to have something different for tonight. Uh, as you can see, we do have uh, Teddy Rough Rider uh, taken out, Rome taken out, and the goals taken out, uh, and then we do have uh, three more choices for them to go for. Um, the bands, we're in the ban phase, by the way, guys, we're in the ban phase. Um, Otawa guy, good evening, sir. I'm so glad it's not Highlands. We'll see more action on Pangea. Indeed, indeed, we do. It is quite a something. Uh, very, very curious. We actually have uh, Bulmos taken out. Uh, you wouldn't uh, have picked the Bulmos for one of those civilizations. I would have uh, definitely thought uh, a civilization like Persia or Cree uh, would uh, end up much higher in the slots over here. Of course, uh, we might actually see some Victoria plays, uh, some Eleanor plays. Um, they do have quite a few uh, diverse options in um, the civilization picks here. Um, Teddy Bulmos out. Yeah, that is that is a very big surprise. Both of the Teddies have been taken out from the game and we do need to see how they're going to end up on. Uh, will we see Pedro the second? Oh, so wait, wait, wow, wow, wow. Are you trying to tell me they took out Bulmos so they can pick Pedro? You might be onto something, but what if they pick Congo? Congo, 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 Congo. Where is Congo? I do know Rom Rom really likes Congo, so we might see some Congo. Uh, last time uh, I spoke with him, he was like, "Ah, oh, but my teammates don't let, don't let me go. You know, don't let me go on Congo." No, I'm I'm kidding. I, I'm just you know uh, dramatizing the effect. Uh, he was very uh, serious when he said that. Uh, you know, I'm just dramatizing a little bit with my voice. Uh, I'm sure uh, Rom Rom here was uh, is. Um, very good on multiple civilizations and of course uh, we do need to see what he's gonna wanna pick tonight i would 
personally i would love to see some congo action whoever wants to play it i would just love to see congo in the game mali it looks like it's going to pick up uh, the fifth ban and we do have another action of another civilization here to uh, take a ban uh, also get anthony is talking about terra is a crazy map it's pangean without city states so it's small the city states are on a smaller separate continent yes yes but this this is actually pangea by the way it would have been amazing if we actually had terra map as far as i know actually terra map doesn't work on more players than two it's just i don't know the algorithm just doesn't work properly yeah it's an irrelevant fest yes but it's amazing you know you get to pick indians you, you get to pick uh, byzantium from the beginning <gasps> they let lotaro in vodero smells over here exactly the niche he needs to go for and he picks lotaro instantly after they took vietnam in the sex in the sixth uh, ban phase we do have vodero picking up lotaro wow wow wait a second boys i mean this is gonna be quite something okay yeah yeah i mean yeah we, we're gonna need to see what what, what lotaro is gonna do on the map we haven't seen it being played in some time here but we've seen those malon raiders do so much damage so many times against uh, their opponents um so i'm expecting great things tonight from um, a big lotaro here Mapuche Raiders at last, exactly. Also, get anything. It is hilarious. Whomever gets a wonder spawn has a bigger advantage. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Astic was is gonna go for Pound Maker. I'm a bit curious, by the way, because we don't actually see. Um, uh, we don't actually see uh, who the players uh, are in both teams. I would love to see uh, drop down of all of the players here. Uh, we could ideally go for like to to take a look at the channels maybe we can take a look at the channels here give me a second so uh it's uh apu with novak or ancient vodero on one side or is apu over there just for uh uh how to say i'm not sure if he's in the game or not i see five players but then from uh Ulysse, we do have uh, asticos rigi rom rom and sprigante uh, coming up uh, today for them and it looks like we will see or we might see because uh, novak didn't actually go for it we might see chandra gupta uh, coming up over here um are they playing a bbg 501 yes they are playing a bbg 501 a ward face good evening sir and welcome welcome uh it's nerf that lost their pillage ability if anyone is not aware they only have one free promo now uh, so they can't uh, pillage over uh, over and over and over and over again that's uh, what you're telling me okay so let's see uh, how it's gonna hold up with uh, bbg 501 i didn't know oh man and well it will see if the nerf was enough yeah i think another one of the problems of the manor raiders wasn't only the pillage it was also uh their um, plus five and of course i think uh, they also have extra base strengths uh if i'm not mistaken but i do want to see the game here we'll see actually let me put up uh, the changes of bbg on the left give me a second on the left screen bam 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 uh, what was the lotano change uh, uh, uh. puche malorator spirit cost three movement points oh so they can oh they can't even uh pillage two of them they can only pillage one but they get a free promotion instead okay interesting yeah that's what that's what i know as well all uh, unique units do have uh, some extra strength anyway we'll see loving the median uh, shirt no uh, yeah thank you Ted. thank you thank you okay so we do have uh four picks and it looks like it's not gonna be chandra gupta oh, it is gonna be uh, zulu and hungary coming up as the next Two, and while we did have uh, Mapuche and Kree picked up first, uh, they are going for the ban faces here and they're taking out the French leaders. What is this? They took out France, Black Queen. Ah, oh, come on, bro. And then we do have Eleanor England actually taken out. And maybe we're going to see some Eleanor France also appear over here. Of course, we've seen it actually quite a few times, uh, preferred by the players. No, also, good and urban, salty, Gabby Bella, Bienvenue, Bienvenue. Uh, Willkommen, Willkommen. Uh, two troublemakers, Mapuche and Hungary. Yeah, 
yeah they're both in the game here with um i, I do have to point oh there we go we got april in the in the house we got april oransi novak and then uh, uh who's the first one who's the first one um did it did it did it did uh what is votero votero was the first one okay and then we do have oh my god they didn't rename themselves we okay never mind it, it is what it is uh looks like egypt is coming up with the 10th ban um, maori is gonna pick up the ninth and uh, we do have them uh, picking up their civilizations at the moment it is gonna be one of the players from ulysi picking up uh, japan i don't know who legus is does anybody know who Legus is? HB Legus. I don't know who that is. Um, Alias Tech is back to the party. Yeah, Nick D. Good evening, good evening. Hello there, sir. Uh, your share goal, you're saying good morning? Oh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Um, <laughs> we will see Tamar against Matthias. That would be quite interesting. I'm not so sure the players uh, do like Tamar that much. Uh, of course, you've seen it in... Um, uh, in the hidden cup that the mark can hold on its own uh, quite nicely it, it does have a lot of uh, face generation quite a bit uh, at the beginning of the game from those walls it uh, unfortunately couldn't keep up with um, everybody else's uh, stats over there it was it is what it is you know thanks uh, his opponents got thanks first it, it and it happened. We do have uh, Oransi here going for uh, Moctezuma. Oh, wait, Moctezuma? Oh, that, that's how you say it in French? Moctezuma? Good evening, Plasma. Hello there. Why are you calling him Mo Moctezuma? <laughs> okay, why is it a C instead of an N, man? Oh, man, I like the mind. She gives me an excuse to build uh, those pretty Renaissance walls. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah. Oh, right. Actually, you're, you're correct. Uh, actually, in English, the English language is... Um, you're, oh, my God. I totally forgot. You're you are, uh, correct, sir, on this one. It should be Moctezuma. I don't know in English why they call him Montezuma. It is what it is. So, uh, oh, well. Aztec is overrated now? Nah, he's just right. He's just there, I think. At this moment, Aztec is just there. Uh, April coming up with um, Peter the Great, of course. Um, he will have uh, Russia to play with. We might see some uh, culture shenanigans uh, coming up from him. And then we do have uh, Arya Stark uh, coming up uh, next. My game is in French. Yes, it's not my game actually. It's a restream from uh, Liege, from Liege's perspective. So we're gonna have everything in French over here, and I'm gonna do my best to translate. And also, of course, uh, I do have to say, oh, thank you so much, Rafifi, for that uh, traduction. Yeah, thank, merci beaucoup. This is something that I do definitely need to try some more. Uh, try to get, um, how to say, uh, uh, try to get conversations going at least force myself to do some um, uh, sentences in French because it's one thing to know the um, uh, words to know what it, what they mean and of course uh, uh, try to translate but it's a totally different thing to uh, try to speak and at the same time try to um, um, con uh, how to say, create the sentences in uh, your brain uh, Nahuatl uh, was the language of the Aztecs oh Nahuatl okay uh, and I thought you switched your game to French for learning purposes. No, I, I think I actually tried. This is uh, something. Vous um, uh, pratiquer en français? Oui, un peu. This is something that my French teacher also told me that I need to. Uh, like, if I want to get some more experience uh, hearing French uh, and uh, seeing the translation at the same time it would be an interesting idea to go on uh, one of these like Netflix or uh, one of the um, online you know streaming services uh, to switch the language that is spoken into French and then use subtitles so I can uh, see what's uh, what's going on and uh, at the same time uh, read the translation I, I just couldn't I'm sorry I couldn't like it was <laughs> Um, not because of the language difference or something like that. It's more because the um, I was used to seeing the sounds coming out of the mouth of the of the actors, 
to speak English and when they speak in French it just doesn't match <laughs> you know it, it is like oh my god it's like my brain is having a, a stroke over there <laughs> no <laughs> resync resync please resync <laughs> I did that with uh, Chinese, watched the uh, Three Kingdom uh, TV series, uh, helped quite a lot. Oh, interesting, interesting. Horos, uh, Elmeki, Com, Yulis, Fe, Un, Bon, Voyage. Wait, uh, Happy is the one that comes to Yulisi uh, and makes a good voyage. Is, is that? Oh, oh, who like uh, Yulisi did a beautiful travel. Oh my god, okay, I nailed it. I Well, a little bit over there. It's about with my words. It's all with my words. Stan House, good evening, sir, and welcome. Ah, uh, Russia. Times to see if it uh, one is one of the game those games where a team gets a good spawn, but Russia is terrible. Ah, uh, very unlikely, man. Very unlikely. Russia tends to actually get very good spawns. Uh, we, we do have, of course, um, uh, the team loading in. Uh, the teams loading in. April coming up with uh, Lotaro. We got Vodero on Russia. Oransi on Montezuma. Novak is gonna have Hungary. On the other side, we do have Rom Rom on Cree, Arya Stark on uh, Japan, Rigi on uh, Victoria and England, and then Astikos is going to come up with uh, Zulu. Um, have you heard of Babel? Uh, it's not great, but help me with the uh, Spanish quite a bit. Uh, I did hear of it. I didn't use it. I, I think I actually installed it at some point. I did not actually use it. A good practice I found was actually watching French cartoons with French subtitles like Asterix and Nobelis. Simple stories, not too much complex language to follow. Yeah, actually, um, I did some exercises with my French teacher uh, translating news uh, because it's a different... Um, um, I would say it's it's not a casual French. It's more like a formal French being used in the news. So you, you do tend to have words that are uh, uh, how to say. Um relatively easy to understand, which, which was amazing, by the way, which was amazing. Uh, the poem has been adapted in music as Ulysses by uh, Ulysses by uh, Ridan. If you're curious, I am. I did not know about that. The one Ulysses that I know is actually the one from uh, Planet of the Apes. If you guys know about that, I thought to Tintin, but it's not so easy. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So let's uh, let's come and see what's going on here. Oh, two three horse style. Yes. How is this spawn of Mapuche? Are they playing on normal, uh, standard ridges? Oh my god, they're playing on standard ridges, right? So we have uh, all the mountain ridges uh, on the continent splits. <laughs> Look at that plus six. You, you talk about that horse. Look at that plus six uh, campus over there to the northwest. What, what is this, bro? A plus four in the capital. I'm pretty sure he has an amazing, amazing appeal with all of the mountains around him. Shema Mools, four days. Release the Shema Mools. We got also Zangi Daxia to the southeast. Uh, he's going to have a city state to bully Bologna uh, and um, Bologna actually and then uh, it does look like he's gonna go for a um, scout first uh, Japan is this Japan or Zulu I think this is Zulu actually looks like the color is a little bit brownish and I think only Zulu has uh, the color from uh, this draft yeah it's white and brown so we do have Asticos over here with uh, Kilimanjaro to the east side oh my god Oh, this is gonna be a big game. Big game. Oh, oh my god. And then we got uh, Halong Bay on the west side of uh, Aztec. Looks like uh, Tenochtitlan did spawn to the northeast of Zulu. Uh, they are quite close to each other. They are also enemies uh, to the north, 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 north. It's also Rigi coming up with uh, England. Uh, that's um, Montezuma being between two players. I'm not sure of the continent split for Montezuma, uh, but probably at some time we're gonna see the lens. Uh, what I do have to say, I did not see that many... Um, uh, geothermal fissures over there so it in on north do, then i see mountains so it kind of feels like um uh he's not uh, how to say he's not gonna have a continent split an easy continent split uh get anthony asking me uh why aren't you co-casting with leech uh because i stream in english and leech is gonna speak in french with um hash uh, he's much more comfortable speaking in uh, french than he, uh, than he is in uh, english and i don't really want to intrude uh, oh no, hungry stuck between two enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Machu Picchu plus seven commercials. Let's go. Plus six campuses everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see also Russia does have a good religious idols. Like he's going to have uh, four of these. Uh, um, what do you call them? Uh, copper tiles in the capital. That's going to be nice. I see a camp tile. But I honestly, is it a good? Actually, well, it's not a bad Kilimanjaro. Uh, Kilimanjaro, wow. A temple of Artemis is going to have at least plus four, plus five amenities. Not to mention the extra food housing. I, I do say it's a decent Kilimanjaro. Uh, what did I say Kilimanjaro again? Temple of Artemis. Temple of Artemis. That's what I wanted to say. Why night and day? I do not know. Uh, that's uh, probably the settings of uh, Leech. Of his, um, how to say of his uh, computer i usually turn this off so i do have like a the perfect you know shadows and uh, um lighting uh, lighting on the on the tiles so we get to see everything we don't need to squint our eyes to see the details uh leech plays uh, with uh, night and day okay uh no remap prediction that's a good uh, that's a good one actually let me put up a prediction over here what do you think guys uh you're gonna have I guess uh, a bit of an inside information over here. How many remaps? And we're talking about only two minutes. Let's see. Two minutes. Two minutes. Do do we have a chance for them to go for a remap here? Uh, Otawa guy. Yeah, just put it up. I just put it up. Thank you so much for uh, reminding me. The mountains are amazing. Uh, the mountains are amazing on multiple civilizations. I'm I'm sorry I didn't actually see Cree. Uh, this is Cree. Okay. And this is Cree and this is the coast towards Japan. Okay, Japan, uh, I guess later on in the game, maybe we'll do some shenanigans against uh, Russia, but I doubt it. He, oh my god, he bought a three-tile away banana? Oh, bro. I mean, I guess he was kind of forced to, but oh my god, bro, that's expensive. I don't know if it's worth for the extra food. Anyway, let's see uh, what's here. Hungary coming up with, uh, okay, okay, 3-1 tile, 1-3 one, tile, that's going to be a 2-2-2-2, two, 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 two. and he does have multiple rivers to go for, Anshan to take over, I do see he has multiple city-states that he can use against his opponents, um, I'm actually really curious about Kree here, uh, how many patches Kree? Uh, yeah. No, it's actually, because it's a restream of a restream, the... Um, also, you see, I'm restreaming uh, the POV of Leech. I think the resolution is a little bit lower than uh, usual. It is 1080p, 60, 60 frames. Actually, now it is switched to 720, 30 frames. What? What? Oh, no. It is actually 720. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. It's a, li a little bit lower than uh, usual. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Firsos is definitely having an influence on you, Lindsay. Now they're just uh, woo, -woo. <laughs> Yeah, they're uh, woo wooing. <laughs> I still did not see. Did, did anybody see how many patches uh, or camps do we have on uh, Cree? Very important, very important to note. Oh, wait, he's uh, checking out the. Uh, oh, no, he's not. Let me, uh, yeah, give me a second. Let me actually ask him. Okay, I'm asking him. I'm asking him. I hope he sees it, actually. Let me... Give me a second here.
Okay, then we'll go. Okay, uh, Aztec can have a fun time. Yeah, uh, Aztec knows uh, for Vicky. Do they know about Vicky? Wait, what did they choose? Did they choose something? What did they choose? So I guess uh, this is going to... Oh, no, it's going to be a rematch. Okay. Uh, also, good evening, Bob. Yeah, the server is boosted, so he should be able to do 1080p. Maybe it's a problem with uh, the PC or something like that. Yep. Or maybe it's a mistake. Maybe he did not see his streaming uh, 720, because usually when you do pop out, uh, like share your screen, sometimes it's uh, not happening. Oh, do we have sound actually? We should have some sound. We'll see. Okay, so this is the new map. This is actually quite an interesting map coming up with a big golf in it on the west side with uh, some inland sea as well. Uh, we do have a little bit of a south and northern sea and we're going to need to uh, check out uh, where the players are. What is this map? Looks like uh, <laughs> kissing a bear. Wow. How did you see that, man? Wow. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there we go. We got uh, Hashki actually giving me uh, 1080p. Oh, thank you. Is this better, guys? Is this better? This looks much better, like, much better. Way better? Okay, there we go. There we go. Thank... Th we need to thank uh, Hashcase. Thank you so much. Why? Well, what is this island when it's a line? Like... Oh. How, how is this possible? Anyway, of course, uh, we, we do need to see where the players are. We do have uh, Japan coming up on the west side here. Uh, and it does look like uh, he's going to have all of this peninsula for himself. I did not see anybody there, but um, we might actually see somebody to the northeast of that uh, military uh, city-state. Looks like uh, Hungary is going to be also to the east of Cahokia there. Uh, we got Mexico City to the north, uh, a bit far away from Japan. I, there is a possibility for him to actually take over that city quite early and then uh, populate that island with uh, multiple cities. Uh, looks like he's moving away from the coast a little bit uh, to the south. He did move for a 2-2 instead of uh, staying over there next to the coast for a better harbor, the reef fish and so on. Uh, what if the um, team that remapped already landed on that island? That would be nice. That would be nice. Also, Aztec is too close to Japan. Wait, is he? I did not see where Jap when uh, where Aztec is. Let me actually take a look. Do we have... Uh, why do we have music in the channel? Okay. I'm taking a look at both, by the way. Uh, now I'm going to have uh, both visions. Um, we'll see. Also, good evening, Nadine. Good evening, sir. Oh, Ostemir Burke. Hello there and welcome, welcome. We got uh, Jamie calling it out. Good evening, sir, and saying a much cooler map. Uh, definitely, it's going to be quite uh, an interesting experience for them. We do need to see what uh, Japan is going to do with uh, so much gold uh, coming up from those cocoa tiles. I do see one, and two, or three, four, five cocoa tiles coming up on the east side. That's uh, that's a lot of gold coming up. 15 gold just from that. Uh, 
would really love to see oh i see Aztec right now on the map over there i see he's a bit two screens away from uh, japan not that close but not that far away either uh, Aztec is gonna try to push uh, japan back into his corner i do have to point out uh, japan does have a very powerful medieval attack coming up with those um, uh, samurais we might see him uh, go crazy against uh, montezuma here since it is his opponent also to ban no shallow water path to those islands yeah yeah looks like he's gonna need cartography you're right you're right i did not notice that but yeah it is gonna be a problem uh they are separated from everything wonder who will find it since uh, galleys can't get there wait a second what is this it's loading please wait is this a resync is this him resyncing I think it's re him resyncing, right? What is the uh, remap? Take it on uh, Japan. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this was a resync. Okay, I hope uh, we don't see that many of them uh, during the game. Oh, we're gonna have also Paititi coming up uh, with, uh, or I should say, next to Aztec with bonuses uh, to extra culture and extra gold for Aztec. Uh, looks like he's also gonna have a continent split here because that's a mountain range. So we might, or we should see some uh, continent splits. We don't need to see uh, if he's gonna also get. A city state to bully i think only one two city states he can bully to the south but a bit too far away from him uh, to handle uh, of course he does have fresh water and uh, i don't believe japan can actually stay off um, the coast in this situation i think he actually did uh, quite a bad thing moving over there on the um, on the 2-2 base the only thing that he did there was trying to stay away from uh, victoria which is his ally and, and i honestly don't know why he did that uh of course he can still put a harbor on the water uh, personally i still value the production that you get later on from the harbor with a shipyard more than i value the 2-2 base at the beginning of the game that especially if you have a reef fish next to you maybe that's just per personal preference we do have um, coming up uh, Aztec over here with uh, that uh, warrior of his, uh, the eagle warrior. And of course, the Tenochtitlan uh, did spawn next to the mountains with a plus a three campus to the west side. And let me actually do this uh, full screen. Um, we do have also Ulundi coming up uh, to the east with uh, quite a few horses to the north. And I do see he's going to have a lot of pastures. That's amazing open sky if he can get that. Uh, he's also going to be the uh, enemy of Oransi. That's uh, Montezuma to the west side. That's going to allow him to do some military against him. Uh, might be actually very good for um the uh, for ulysses team uh, ulysses can output a lot of uh, firepower against uh, montezuma and it will be uh, both at the same time as in uh, both do have the same timings uh, coming up in the medieval era uh, that's going to be amazing we got samurais coming up from the west side and then we do have uh, impis coming up from the east it's going to be very hard for uh, aztec to handle both but of course you do need quite a bit of coordination and we'll see if uh, the players actually want to choose that Opal Sky or the Marsh Pantheon. Um, I guess he does have a few marshes, but I wouldn't actually call that uh, amazing at this point. Let's see. Let's see the other players in the map. Maybe they have uh, a bit of a better one. But yeah, he, he can definitely pick it up. He can definitely pick it up. Um, zero inhabitants in Kyoto. Wait, did he? Oh no, it's uh, it's the desync, guys. It's the desync. I don't know why the desync, but it's the desync. Uh, I don't know wh what does that mean, cavities for Zulu? Because cavities means totally different. Something it may mean totally something totally different in English than it is in uh, French. So I want to make sure. What are you talking about, Rafifi? <laughs> sugar, you mean? Okay, the sugar canes. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Okay, so we're gonna have a re-lobby here. It looks like uh, a lot of them were uh, desyncing. Oh, all of them actually were desyncing with the new map. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have, of course, we're turn four. I don't know if they wanna actually pick this map or they wanna go uh, for a new map. It's a re-lobby. Okay, it's just a re-lobby, not a re-map, right? Yeah, that sugar tart is the most American start. <laughs> sugar. What do we want? Sugar. Give me some sugar. <laughs> Okay, we're just um, waiting over here for the players to uh, gather, get the new lobby going. Uh, I did ask you earlier when um, it was in the, um, uh, how to say, um, we were going through the loading screen, uh, waiting screen. Do you guys want to hear a new song? I made it two days ago, I believe. I, I did put it in my, uh, how to say... I did put it in my Discord, but I didn't uh, actually give you the vision of it. Let me actually load it up. Takes a little while. There we go. Okay, let's go. so much for the prime sir thank you sir thank you good evening stone avocado
Okay, there we go. Uh, well, hopefully we're gonna get back to that. I don't know if I actually will feel the need to change something over here, but I do think I'm gonna need to um, listen it on bigger speakers than I have at the moment. I'm gonna need to go through uh, a different, you know, ranges of tests, but I do hope uh, it's uh, good enough anyway, uh, especially for uh, the stream. Uh, usually I do um, put the music uh, in the background of the stream uh, for the beginnings, for the later on uh, stuff and so on and so forth. So yeah, thank you, thank you. Hope uh, hope you guys like it. Still um, searching for a style. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? We're still go gonna have the same map. Looks like it is turn eight. We don't know if uh, they're gonna actually go for a remap or not. We're gonna find out in the next. Uh, minute or so uh, i do see oh there we go uh, actually april is calling out for a remap um I, is it though is it like i i guess aztec will do well to remap this especially with um, japan on the west side and zulu on the east side uh, even yes he is kind of a you know uh, going out strong kind of civilization i still have uh, it still has quite a few issues uh, dealing with everything uh, okay there we go um nice chill bob okay okay very nice very nice thank you sir thank you uh coming up with um uh, the remap here is gonna take a while uh i think they're calling out for uh referee to see if uh it is a technical or not and i think it's the technical for japan right uh, he can still settle two cities or is it some someone else other than japan doesn't he doesn't he get to um, settle two cities anyway hmm. anyway we'll see Oh, he lost one pop. Okay, he lost one pop. I see. Okay. Orancy is saying. Uh, Orancy is actually saying he lost one pop. That's uh, Montezuma. Uh, did he get hit by a flood or something? Uh, turn eight. Melison uh, miss uh, two hours upper good. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a, a challenge. Well, it is what it is. Uh, it seems it's a return to square zero. Yeah. Well, well, um, it is sinking to a new map, and I do hope uh, we're not gonna need a new lobby for this, or I should say, a re lobby uh, to fix the um, these things you've seen. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes this remap uh, does cause uh, a few uh, problems, and uh, well, now uh, with the new BBG, it looks like uh, it does cause some D things. It is what it is. We'll see how this uh, develops. I do hope uh, they're gonna fix this, or it will be just something temporary. Maybe some of the players don't have this, or uh, they, uh, you know, it's something easy to fix. Takes a little while to load, though. Okay. Well, now we have a map that has a hole in it. It's a big, well, rectangle, and then it has a hole in it interesting it looks like we do have uh, the great barrier reef um that's aztec that's uh, uh, no that's uh, sorry that's Cree. Uh, looks like that's japan okay japan in the middle that's a bit weird but it is what it is 
I didn't want to check out uh, Chris Pond a little more. I definitely want to see the patches and the camps. Uh, but he, since he did spawn with so many mountains, maybe he's going to have uh, quite a few um, uh, patch adjacent pastures and those sheep tiles. I see at least one horse. I don't know if, if he has more than one horse, but he has a horse. Uh, on Japan here, it looks like he's going to have a reef fish tile. Uh, who does have fresh water from the lake. And then the inland sea is going to serve him for some uh, nice adjacency. Uh, oh, I do see Gilimanjaro to his southeast as well. That's going to be quite uh, poggy. Woggy. Zulu on the west side with so many mountains. Uh, we do have Montezuma in a corner somewhere. Uh, this might not be that bad for him, especially uh, since he does want to go more towards the late game, uh, get those uh, extra bonuses of um, strength on him, and of course, uh, try to delete his opponent's series really quickly with bombers. Uh, we might see him prefer this way. We do have also uh, Russia in the snow with uh, multiple camps. I do see uh, one, two, two camps. Yeah, two camps. Uh, also, he has on the same continent ivory and truffles, which is going to be amazing. Um, really wanted to check uh, Kree out. Uh, looks like uh, HK does want to go over Kree much faster than uh, usual. Um, come on, come on, show me Kree. Come on, show me Kree. Kree. No, he only has one passion. That's a bit uh, unfortunate though, for Kree. Um, coming up on Cree, there we go. And well, I guess two patches coming up with uh, that horse, extra horse tail on the west side. I don't see him benefiting from another city that he could use for the pasture and the um, scent. So, I, uh, all in all, that's a very weak Cree spawn. Uh, he does have his uh, bonuses from other stuff, uh, like um, Great Barrier Reef over there, extra. Uh, adjacency from the mountains uh, there are quite a few things that uh, might work but it's just not gonna have those amazing trade routes um great battery leaf with three indeed ostemir uh 10 tile c in the middle yeah yeah 10 tiles well actually, actually there's more than that we do have that big big inland sea coming up with uh, you see the hole in the map i, I think that's actually bigger than the 10 tile c um he'll trade with uh, japan and make the big money yeah probably probably he will try to trade. Well, you don't really want to go internals. Uh, we don't really want to go externals with Kree, though. You want those internals working for you. But anyway, uh, we do have um, uh, quite a bit of land here, as uh, uh, as HK is pointing out. But it's uh, not going to be preferred by uh, Russia to go for it. I think he would still want to stay in the Tundra. Doesn't have a lot of production in the Tundra, from what I can see. Not a lot of hills, uh, which might make um, Dance of the Aurora viable if he really wants to go for a lot of faith. We do have uh, Hungary also to the northeast of uh, Japan over here. I see it on the map with a few city states next to him. Uh, and he does have also London to fight on the east side. That's not ideal though. On um, Hungary, you don't actually want to fight with all your units. If you can get a general to a city state units, that's uh, perfect. But you don't really want to fight with your own units against your opponents. We do have also Lotaro here. Apul coming up with uh, Ngulu Mapu. Looks like he's going to have, he's going to be on the other side of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, he's going to fight for Mount Kilimanjaro with uh, Japan and we do need to see uh, who's going to come up on top over there. I think uh, actually it's going to be quite um, nicely matched for them. Uh, Lotaro with a bit of uh, extra bonus coming up for those uh, Manon Raiders, but that's about it. Uh, he does have a 2 2 base. I see multiple uh, instant styles for him to work. Uh, these are going to turn into nice uh, little tiles to work if he's going to get his... Um, I want to say, uh, if he's going to get his uh, uh, not only irrigation, but also um, feudalism, that's going to be nice. Hungary and Russia allies next to it. Uh, Hungary has four city states next to him. He can abuse Vicky. I see only two city states. What, what do you come up with the extra city states? Like, come on, come on. Let's, let's be honest about this. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Gensaro, good evening, sir. Uh, hello there. Uh, he can definitely abuse other civilizations with those city states. I see Cre Oh no. They actually went to turn two and we got this. Oh no. Come on. Let's get back, bro. Get back to reality. We're gonna have a real lobby here for this map. Um I think it wasn't or was it? I, I'm still not sure if it was a technical last uh, map or not. I think it was, right? He lost a uh, one pop. So I think he called out for a technical.
Uh, this seems like a fun Shaka game with uh, Kree feeding you all the gold in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am... Maybe I'm not that trusting that uh, Kree is gonna make that much gold this game. Uh, maybe it's just me, we'll see. Um, mostly because usually Kree does benefit a lot from those uh, trade for the extra gold from the trade routes. Yes, he does prefer to go for commercials. And we're gonna need to see if uh, he's gonna set up uh, coastal trade routes with uh, Japan. Uh, there is a possibility for them to do so, but it's not gonna be those, oh my god, amazing uh, trade routes through the water. You do need a decent amount of uh, distance uh, between you and your opponent, uh, you and your uh, neighbor uh, on the water to actually get uh, the maximum... Uh, output of your uh, trade routes for that extra gold on the water um i i i think i'm actually owing a bit of an explanation over here about um, the culture victory stone avocado was asking me about the culture victory so basically you have a few stats that you need to be, be careful about the three main stats that you need to watch is uh, your tourism output uh, your opponent's culture output um and more more um, um, I would say more importantly how many defending tourists does he have so every nation according to his uh, culture output but not only the culture output the total output of the culture that was generated through the game will generate internal tourists which does uh, act, which do act as defense for the um, culture victory that's why you see over there oh it's one out of uh, ten you have like one out of ten tourists and then uh, um, the next time it changes and you have like one out of fifteen or uh, you make a 5 out of 25 and so on and so forth uh, the idea there being um, you don't need to generate more tourism uh, from your own books uh, wonders uh, religion um, and so and projects rock bands and so on uh, not to mention national parks and blah blah uh, to out match the tourists, the defending tourists of your opponents. Basically, you convert your uh, the, your opponent's citizens uh, to prefer your nation to go and uh, have uh, um, to make tourism uh, like to make um, journeys to your nation instead of uh, going to theirs um, or to their own home. Uh, that actually gives you quite a few options to, uh, throughout the game uh, of course uh, we've seen quite a few players uh, try to go uh, for early tourism and then uh, they keep on going for it. Um, also, just as he's saying, it's not really generated culture, it's more about uh, the amount of civics you got, have boosted generated domestic, well, I mean, sure, but that basically translates into what I said. Uh, basically, make uh, your people say, we have good stuff over here, why should I go there? Exactly, basically, it's to have the defense, exactly. Mithrok, uh, what were the bands? Um, uh, we do have, I remember, we did have... Mali as a ban, um, Rome as a ban, uh, wow, quite a few actually ones were banned, but I, I didn't remember all of them. Uh, give me a second, maybe I can uh, figure it out uh, really quickly, because I know where to watch. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me just a few seconds here. What's this? Uh, oh, we got into a stream. Blah, blah. Okay, we got a point. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out for you. Uh, okay, I found the bands. So we did have rough, Teddy Rough Rider. It looks like Rome. It looks, uh, Gaul was taken out. Uh, Teddy Bulmus was taken out, which was quite a surprise. Uh, then Mali and Vietnam coming up as the 5th and 6th. Uh, then in the second phase, they did take out Catherine de Medici, Black Queen, Eleanor England, Maori and uh, Egypt coming up in the ban phase no more lotaro in the ban phase you see he's actually in the game right now and uh, we all are waiting to see the power the power uh, well if you want to be exact uh, getting a boost can make a difference when uh, defending culture victory yes because that's actually uh, extra culture generated uh, from the boost um, culture generates domestic uh, tourists do uh, tourists generates foreign tourists you win culture victory when foreign tourists uh, you are greater than yes and you can see how this turns out to uh, how to say everybody has a different way of saying the same thing <laughs> yes it's unbelievable right yeah 
Uh, gold was mine. Okay, okay. So we do have uh, this map. Uh, it looks like it's still turn one. Uh, we did the lobby turn one, uh, so we can, uh, well, not actually have those um, uh, problems with the desyncs. I hope it's going to be fixed now. Uh, by the looks of it, we do have, okay, Russia. I think the only one that we didn't actually take a look at was Zulu. Uh, I do think also we do need to take a look a bit more. Oh, Montezuma, it's only one, right? He's going to have six, actually. I think he's going to have six. I see a shoe. Uh, no, that's nice. Sorry. Uh, so, die style, honey tiles. Um, with uh what was that bro no he does not okay um amber tile and then to the southwest i did see the whales so that's still an extra plus four mm. not an amazing zulu spawn here um montezuma spawn montezuma spawn uh, well, it sounds simple, but there are a lot of small mechanics you have to look if you're serious as well as always in sieve. Yeah, for sure. Honey and salt in the north. Uh, he also has honey in the background there. He has a lot of honey, like four or five honey tiles in um, his uh, immediate adjacency. That's going to be quite an amazing Temple of Artemis if he manages to go for it. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. Ulundi is uh, quite close to Japan over here, and it looks like Mount Kilimanjaro has exploded. We do have a 511, uh, oh my god, <laughs> tobacco tile. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually need to uh, close my AC. There we go. Uh, continent split maybe on Victoria? No continent split on Victoria. Rigi on the coast with a 3 1, a 3 science, and 1 culture. Oh well. Oh my god. Well, it is going to be a good way or well, good um, option for Japan to actually go and settle Mount Kilimanjaro first. He's going to have the fresh water coming up from that one tile lake and or the river. And I do see uh, he's going to have a lot of food generated by that um, wonder. Of course, uh, I do also want to point out on the southeast, we do have uh, Lotaro with uh, also a fresh water position next to that uh, lake but he's gonna need to go a little bit uh, stronger on it uh, he is gonna have also a scout trying to defend japan's uh, position you do see a warrior is also coming up from the west side uh, south of kilimanjaro he needs to take up the position really quickly if he wants to uh, he can get a 2-2 base there with uh, another city on the east side on the river we're going to need to see who's going to be fastest uh, on that drop. Uh, and of course, uh, if they do manage to outsmart each other. Uh, on the city of London, I did see a builder coming out of his city with uh, Cedric in the build queues. Uh, I do hope, uh, yeah, he's going to go and uh, improve that reef fish tile for the extra food and extra production. And uh, I would really love to see the strategics of uh, all of the players here and uh, see what their options are at the beginning of the game. Uh, the Beer Bandit and Loader said, and welcome. Actually, it's interesting because, uh, especially since we don't see, uh, how, how to say, I, I am not on the buttons over there, I do feel uh, a little bit uh, slacking, <laughs> you know, because uh, usually when I'm on the buttons, I don't want to see that, I don't want to see that, and that, and that, and that, and uh, since uh, somebody else is doing it for me, I'm like, oh, well, okay, I can, I can just stay chill over here and uh, watch the screen and comment as we go, but anyway, I'm going to try to get back on this. Um, I do see they're looking at uh, Hungary here, and it uh, looks like uh, Buddha is gonna get uh, two turns for another settle uh, he is uh, next to three city states uh, and of course he's quite close to Hungary that's gonna be his uh, Hungary that, to Russia that's gonna be his ally uh, he's gonna have Victoria to fight on the southeast and he can use those uh, units from the culture city state um, big question. Okay, so we did find out the last map was a technical remap, and at the beginning of the game, we did have uh, Let's Only Tolling's Roses using their um, remap option, the remap token. So it's only Ulysses that has an option to go for the remap here. Honestly, I didn't actually see something um, game breaking for them to remap this, but I would like to point out Creed doesn't have that big of a 
spawn over there. I, I personally don't like that spawn. It can be nice, but it's just not cool. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh, wait. Did I see another pasture over there? Did I see a 2 2 tile next to his city center? Oh, come on, bro. Show us the pastures. Show us the power. Power. Hey, did you guys see Andor? It's okay. So this is gonna be the this is gonna be the one. Why am I getting people adding me to the? Friend? Okay, sure. Okay, so. This is gonna be the map. We're gonna have them uh, played out like this. Uh, Kree is gonna have that spawn. We do have Japan with Mount Kilimanjaro. Ulundi, southwest of Japan with a 3 1 base. Uh, Victoria on the coast. We still don't know if uh, that's gonna be a continent split for her. Uh, honestly, I didn't see any geothermal. And a um, uh, few times that we zigzagged uh, through that spawn. And from what I can see over here, we do need to. Um, uh, check out uh, how this is gonna be uh, played out uh, amazing second set on Kyoto as well on the southwest with a lot of food coming out from those banana tiles uh, and of course oh my god Mapuche getting uh, more of these uh, more uh, oh, oh yeah there we go he's going first he's going first with his um, scout over there he's gonna see the warrior of Japan soon enough he's gonna need to bring back his warrior to um, uh, try to defend that and at the same time he has one of the settlers coming out from Engulumapu going towards Mount Kilimanjaro needs to be extremely careful if he doesn't settle that now there's not gonna be a future now it's just now now there's no future now it's just now now uh, did I see that unit okay so over here we do have a Kree scout looks like uh, he's not gonna catch uh, any whiff of that Russian unit uh, the Russian settler we do have uh, Japan coming up over here looks like uh, he's moving to the east side and I would really love to see where it's going show us the way show us the way uh, Kyoto did put down uh, one of those holy sites and I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to um, uh, get us another settler going uh, also Russia is opening up with um, Lavras he is gonna go the, the faith way I do see at the moment he didn't actually improve any of his times but there was a builder in the queues uh, okay some uh, attack some attacks going on between the mapuche and uh, as you can see over here the warrior of japan april is gonna try to go uh, in the east on uh, let's let me, oh my god one two three one two three they actually end up uh, at the same time on that time if the warrior doesn't get the promotion and keeps on attacking onto the scout of lotaro He's gonna end up being taken out by the warrior of uh, Mapuche, and of course you do see um, uh, there's another uh, there's another uh, scout with a settler coming up from uh, Mapuche from the east. Uh, he will probably go and settle the stone tile, and it will be faster than uh, uh, Japan can settle over there. The only thing they need is a lot of gold to acquire uh, most of the Mount Kilimanjaro tiles. Uh, people want to be my friend. Yes, people want to be my friend. I, I do not know that. <laughs> I guess we're, we're gonna have to wait and see who, who that is. Who that is. Whoa. Whoa. A lot of rain started. I don't know if you can uh, hear it on the stream over here, but there's a, a, lot, a lot of rain. Maybe I'm gonna need to actually close the windows down because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you guys see it in the background? Is, is it that bad? Oh my god. Let me actually take a look. We, you hear it? Okay. So, faintly. Okay. So, it's not. If it goes bad, like if, if it gets annoying, please tell me so I can close up the windows. Uh, at the beginning. Um, it's impressively loud for as faint as it is. <laughs> okay, sports are just good evening, sir. Well, if, if it gets annoying, tell me so I can uh, close the window. It's all good. It will uh, diminish the sound considerably. Okay, so it looks like Japan over here does have a bit of an issue. Uh, I, he's, first of all, he's going to have quite a few units from Lotaro sniffing around his uh, newly... Uh, 
to settle city, the one that he wants to settle. Second of all, he doesn't know that uh, Mapuche already is going to settle that city. And uh, thirdly, uh, he's in a pickle with the warrior of Mapuche. Uh, you, you do see that warrior to the southwest, it can move. It's not moving yet. Uh, he's gonna, he might actually try a nice move, first move here. And we do need to see what both April and... Um, yeah, Arya is gonna do. I think Arya is Sprigan, right? Isn't he Sprigan? So we got Rigi on Eleanor, we got Romrom -Rom on Kree, uh, Asticos is gonna be Zulu, and then uh, the fourth one from uh, Ulysses is Sprigante. Oh my god, it's actually getting louder. Woo wee! Boys, we got a shower going on, man! Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, I don't want to move now. I don't want to move now. No, oh, it's going to be shift enter. Arya is going to shift enter. Boom. And then we got Puel Mapu settled. Now he's going to acquire all of the tiles over here. All of the important tiles. Uh, he needs to buy everything. He doesn't have a lot of gold, so give me a second. Now is the moment of truth. Do I have pants on? <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, spoiler. <laughs> It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Especially, oh my God, there are so many, uh, so many, um, how to say, uh, laughs about this. Uh, so many events happening uh, during the COVID era with uh, people that were streaming from the home and they were feeling, you know, like, it's so good. Why do you need to, to wear uh, shorts in your house, you know? <laughs> Why didn't he buy the 3-3? Three, three? Oh my God. Okay, so they split this up uh, halfway. Okay, well, I guess they didn't want to spend all the gold, but I know quite a few people that would have spent all the gold in the world to get everything from away from their opponents here. Uh, I, you tapped away. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. What can I say? You can imagine I wouldn't have actually went to close the windows if I didn't have pants on. Come on, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> I would have gotten the chair in front of me, you know, to block the vision. <laughs> you would see me. <laughs> anyway, let, let's come back to this because I think I'm overdoing this. Uh, we, we do have... Um uh, 1017, uh, quite a few civilizations still need to get their uh, score points. Um, we've seen actually even in 4v4s, uh, the players do have an issue with uh, getting the ORA score needed. Uh, and of course, we do need to see uh, if this is going to be one of those games. Uh, I would love to see what the shenanigans between Kree and uh, uh, Russia are. I do see them for settling each other. And of course, uh, that is probably going to be one of the conflict zones. So we do have another conflict zone uh, here on Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, they will definitely fight over there and this is going to be quite dangerous for both of them especially with um, uh, with uh, uh, that uh, volcano between them you can imagine if you put units on the battlefield they're just going to get uh, eaten up by the lava that is going to be quite problematic we do have another setter coming up from um, both uh, cities, but then uh, Angulo Mapu is going to be two turns faster at least. Uh, quite an interesting way of going to settle, actually to the northeast. I was expecting him to go directly north uh, for uh, the city on north of that uh, to tobacco tile, exactly where... Um, uh, Hashke is pointing. Uh, we do have him uh, with uh, quite a few tutus there, uh, quite a few chops that he could use. Uh, even settling on a tobacco tile would be quite nice. Um, we do need to see on um, uh, Victoria uh, coming up to the northeast uh, if he's going to have that continent settle or not. I guess we're going to need to wait uh, for uh, quite a few moments over here. Uh, Japan did manage to get the defense on the city of Tokyo with uh, that warrior. He didn't move it from the city center anymore and he does have another warrior. Was, was that religious? I, uh, whoa, 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 wait a second. W was that uh, initiation rights uh, picked up by uh, Japan. I think it was initiation rights. Anyway, we got God of the Sea coming up for um, 
Victoria. I don't see the extra production on his uh, fish tiles and from what I can see he's gonna try to go and settle another one coastal to the south if he is not gonna be blocked by uh, Mapuche's uh, scout. Looks like uh, he can go, Mapuche could go on that 2-2 tile and uh, might actually block um, England. It's all about the first moves. Oh and England does get the shift enter. Uh, I don't see geothermals uh, around him, so I doubt this is going to be a continent split for England. Uh, I'm also not so certain uh, we're going to have to the west side Hungary with um, an incentive to go against England at the beginning. Uh, from what I can see, he is going for a Temenanki in the city of uh, Pest, and uh, he did pick... Or he didn't pick. That, that's a big question. Did he actually go for Lady of the Reader Marshes or not? Because I see... He does have extra protection on uh, the floodable terrain tiles, so I'm tempted to to um, say that he did go for Lady of the Reader Marshes. Uh, the Japan Cree border seems like a nightmare to defend. Uh, Japan Cree border. Oh, the one. Uh, well, they do have Zulu over there as. Oh, oh wait, Zulu is opponent, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I would, I would definitely say it is a nightmare to defend. And I think it's all up to the blurs over here to um, uh, stay alive until Montezuma can come and clean up. Uh, to production boats for England means uh, God of the Sea? Yes, yes, it does mean uh, God of the Sea. Okay, now we get to see what's going on here. It looks like uh, the Lavra of uh, Russia, the second Lavra did get pillaged. Uh, St. Petersburg is um, going to finish its one and uh, he's going to get archers to defend the Voronezh. Uh, looks like also on the east side we do have an archer upgraded in St. Petersburg so he can defend against um, the Occitan on the east. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Kree is going to try to use as much as possible his uh, higher strength uh, scouts uh, to... Um, bully a little bit Russia but he can't actually get in uh, with uh, full, full, uh, with all his might while I do see Russia did pick up on um, Goddess of the Hunt you do see the extra production and extra food coming up on those uh, camp tiles improved camp tiles I also notice uh, one of his um, volcanoes to the north did explode. He does have a geothermal fissure in the capital for a easy peasy plus three campus. And uh, of course, uh, he's going to get a lot of adjacency towards his lavras from uh, the um, mountains. So that's not bad, actually. He can couple his uh, extra faith, extra science, and at the same time uh, get uh, quite a few uh, pro uh, production points uh, extra from the... Lab, uh, from the um, uh, Tundra tiles. I'm actually quite curious if he is uh, gonna go for uh, the series, uh, the next series in the plain seals, or if he's gonna try to stay a little bit more in that uh, tundra. It doesn't look like he has a lot of cities to settle in the tundra. And we did have that discussion before uh, with a few of the players uh, when I asked if uh, they do prefer to or if they like to pick something like russia or uh, canada on the pangea maps they did answer uh, they don't feel they have enough tundra to develop their cities uh, to get the same results on uh, like on maps of uh, highlands or seven seas and so on like the bigger maps when it comes to that inland inland sea included uh, so we definitely need to check out if uh, Russia in this game is going to have what he take, what it takes uh, to get to the next part of the game. Of course, Mikis Ivanchik, by the looks of it, did improve two of his patches. He's going to get the third one. Okay, actually, I didn't see the... Um, uh, the ships underneath the capital there that makes it with a uh, three bonus uh, patches that's actually not that bad uh, coming up from the beginning it's not great either but it's definitely not that bad uh, we do have him uh, going for a fourth uh, settler and i do see he has a continent split on the west side uh, he's also gonna get um, quite a bit of culture from those patches going for his uh, campuses starting off with uh, two with campuses uh, and of course uh, i do see he already has a few internals working we do have uh, the city of Tokyo with a 3-4 tile worked with a 5 foot one as well. And it looks like he's pumping out the slingers. He's going to need to get his uh, arches if he wants to be over here relevant. Uh, Russia and uh, Japan are both going for religions and uh, they are on uh, opposing teams. We do need to see what kind of religions they're going to pick in this scenario. Initiation rights, I was uh, correct over here for Japan. He's going to get the extra faith uh, from the units he builds uh, whenever he builds them, which is going to be quite uh, strong going into the next part of the game. Uh, I am actually quite curious if uh, Mapuche over here is going to try to put down an encampment. I 
do believe it's going to be much easier for Mapuche to go for one. Uh, but of course, you do see he's um, actually having a bit of an issue going against Tokyo. He might lose the scout. No, he is not. Actually, he's going to promote it. He got enough uh, experience points to promote it. And it looks like uh, he's also going to have an archer to use to attack into his opponent's units. Uh, by the looks of it, the tile on the west of Kilimanjaro is actually a flat tile, he doesn't have any production, that means the um, archer of um, Mapuche can actually attack into that weak scout to the east side on the Lavra tile, might go and uh, take it out uh, in two turns. We do have uh, finally Japan arriving at um, archer technology he's gonna start uh, upgrading quite a few of them gonna pop one next turn probably from the city center of um, tokyo and he's getting his um religion in one turn as well i see the city of uh, kyoto is gonna finish one of those projects a bit curious that he went for projects i guess he is uh, in a bit of a hurry here he wants to get this over with uh, while of course we do have uh, mapuche also with three cities uh, did pick a pantheon but i didn't see uh, what kind of pantheon he picked up we have oh we we actually have some sound okay i'm gonna put it up over here i just hope uh, we don't see something else anyway uh looks like uh, endo dakusuka is gonna be uh, zulu city so we got three cities over here for him uh will only end on dini uh, he's gonna have a four 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 one four one a three one and a four one amazing amazing population on all of them uh looks like he's also gonna try to pump up a few builders uh, he already put his ikandas down and we might see some uh, early skirmishes from him some early units of course uh, zulu usually does want to wait until he's gonna get his core ability from mercenaries uh, to actually go against his opponents we might see uh, something like that happen here uh, he doesn't have easy to get to horses you can see actually the horses are across the mountains uh, that's uh, gonna put quite a bit, a bit of a stopper on his um units uh, we do need to see if uh, anybody else uh, from the game is going to try to give him uh, some horses of course uh, you do have montezuma on the wait a second that's actually his opponent uh, we, we got rigi i think that will not actually get to use those um, horses at the beginning uh, but he does need to improve them uh, the moment in when the era score screen we do see everybody did manage to get all of their um, golden age points it's all good we got more cities coming up from kri more cities coming up from um, Russia and uh, we do need to check out uh, Montezuma's Pantheon not to mention I think Hungary's Pantheon as well I did not notice also Mapuche's Pantheon uh, we do know that Kiri did go um, for uh, Open Sky uh, who is Zolo going on? Mapuche. Uh, that's I think he's gonna go against uh, Japan. Oh uh, wait, Japan is his ally. Yeah, it needs to be Mapuche. It's either Mapuche or it's uh, Kree. One of the two. But I think it's Mapuche. Wait, they're allies, right? It's a triple ally. On t oh, oh yeah, it's a triple ally uh, triangle here. So Mapuche needs to be something to go against. With road, it's uh, doable. Uh, yeah, uh, Hungary went Lady of the Ridger Marshes. Thank you, thank you. So he did go Lady of the Ridger Marshes. Okay. Uh, Russia, do we know what Russia, uh, Russia went to get us of the hunt, right? Yeah. Dothraki, good evening, sir. Also, Engineer General will make uh, the road he needs. Yeah. Yeah, we need, we need to actually take a look at uh, how the players will uh, try to get the generals here. It looks like also uh, Kree is going to put down an encampment and uh, he might actually try to project for one. Uh, I did notice somebody did pick up Crusade and I think that was uh, Japan, if I'm not mistaken. It was a bit too fast uh, over here on the screen. I'm excited to see what your insights on the game are. Oh, beer bandit. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, we do have Cree coming up, uh, Cree, uh, Montezuma coming up with a city on um, that lake, Lake Redpa. 
from what I can see. Oh, fertility threat is coming up from Zulu, by the way. We, I just saw it, and it looks like we got more units uh, going on the attacking force on uh, Japan. Uh, he's uh, also benefiting. Oh, well, I guess Mapuche over here does uh, need to go as uh, hard as, and as strong as possible against Japan. D doesn't need to let him uh, get more units out. It is going to be a problem if he does so. And uh, probably he's going to move uh, both of those scouts next to Puel Mapu on the west side, on the tobacco on the 1 3. Next turn, he's going to. Uh, Trick out an archer. I'm from the mud link, don't listen to me, man. Mud link, bro. The mud link. <laughs> oh man, I remember those days. I remember those days, man. I gotta say, usually in CPL, when you play in CPL at the beginning, it, it does, like, everybody wants to test you, and you, you need to go through quite a few of them, to quite a few of those derail wars. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, down to timings, Malone versus Samurai. Yeah, we will probably see some kind of that, but I do have to point out that the Samurais are great on land, but unfortunately they're much, much greater next to the coast. Uh, they do have an extra plus five over there, and they do shine. We're going to need to see if um, Mapuche is going to get uh, a hold of it, that timing. Of course, with uh, the man leaders benefiting from an extra plus 5, his opponent will definitely be in a golden age. Uh, so he's going to get that plus 5 on his uh, units. And maybe we're going to see something like... Uh, oh, did... Oh, we got 1080p. Whoa, we got 1080p here as well, bro. Now we get to see a different perspective. Thank you so much, Leech. Uh, even with forces, he's like uh, four turns away from uh, Mapuche. Oh, for sure, he's not that close. He, he's not close, actually. Yeah, he's not close. put my phone uh, to charge oh i see actually mapuche did lose uh, one of his uh, archers and by the looks of it uh, no archer was lost on japan he's still on uh, two plus one that popped from the city he's gonna get another one in two turns and uh, from what i can see uh, we do have uh, japan on eight science uh, seven culture while uh, mapuche is on eight and ten uh, they both have about the same production not that big of a difference over there and i honestly don't see that much face generation on uh, sprigante he's only on a uh, nine face generation generation with uh, two holy sites uh, we're gonna need to see if uh, he's gonna generate enough faith from his initial initiation rights to actually get a good golden age we are three turns away from getting a golden age that starts at turn 31 and we do have uh, Kree finishing up his uh, science uh, campuses coming up with uh, 15 science and 10 culture uh, he's also gonna have a 39 production a turn uh, with uh, 40 food uh, the only more food the only player that makes more food is Asticos coming up with uh, 42 food on him uh, what color is Shaka on the minimap it's uh, well it's kind of whitish I would say white white and brown we're just looking at Shaka so yeah I think it's white I don't know why his eastern city looks more like uh, Mapuche than his uh, Shaka city it's kind of weird but anyway um we, we do have a bit of a problem over here for mapuche it does look like he didn't actually go for um, an encampment he's not going to get an extra plus five from a general and uh, by the looks of it he's going to need to do something uh, japan is uh, going to try to get more units out against him uh, on hungary we do have him also starting up with uh Gavron plaza two commercials i do see a temenaki coming up in two turns from him a bit sad that he didn't uh, he, how to say he didn't go for his third replacement of a commercial here but it is what it is on the city of pest i do also point out uh, he did go for magnus internals and i see in uh, pex uh, he's gonna go for moksha uh, for the extra culture 
We do have uh, him with a Pingala, of course, uh, that needs to establish in the CFPS for the extra, or Liang, one of the two, uh, for the extra science. Uh, he did settle his city on a geothermal fissure, and uh, that's actually quite surprising. He didn't want to go for a campus over there. I believe uh, instead of his government plaza, he should have actually placed a campus. Uh, he, he did get his government plaza in that particular uh, position so he gets the bonus from the pearl of the danube uh, that is uh, the bonus of hungary to give you that extra um, uh, production towards districts and the buildings uh, therein uh, across the river Nasasu, hello there, son, and welcome. Now, what is the hungarian uh, gpt uh, it is uh, seven points of gold per turn Looks like it's a money, money bags versus poor chaps game once again. Uh, wait, you think uh, on the left side we're gonna have the money bags and on the right side we're gonna have the uh, poor chaps? Uh, Lucky Lurk, good evening, sir. Michael already checked Pantheons. Uh, I'm actually restreaming, but I did uh, take a peek on the Pantheons. Uh, I'm missing a few of them. For example, I don't know Mapuche's Pantheon. Maybe we're gonna see something in the next few turns, but uh, I don't know. We do have uh, horses coming up from Mapuche here, and I would really love to see if uh, he managed to get uh, Carden. Um, Japan went for initiation rights. Uh, we did have uh, England on uh, God, uh, God of the Sea. Hungary went for Lady of the and marshes uh, goddess of the hunt on uh, russia uh, Cree went for open sky uh, zulu fertility rights and we don't know montezuma so we we need to know two more one is mapuche's pantheon and one is montezuma's pantheon Uh, quite a few builders also on the way here. It looks like uh, they can uh, get ready to chop in Puel Mapu. Uh, I'm not so certain that... Well, it's going to have an extra plus 5 as well. That's actually quite an important damage uh, coming against uh, Japan. But without the general, he's uh, going to have a hard time. Uh, we've seen multiple times how uh, civilizations can defend against just a plus 5 coming against them. Uh, especially with um, the position with multiple uh, bonuses coming upon you. you. You do get the extra heals. You do get the uh, fortify in position and so on and so forth uh, and if you do manage to get into the correct placement that's going to be amazing so we do have Cree going for the general we got the Japan going for a general Zulu is going of course for the general no general on Mapuche uh, we got also um, Temple of Artemis being placed down from uh, the capital city of uh, Russia while I see Temenaki did finish over there in, uh, Jap in uh, the lands of Hungary uh, general deny, I think, I think. Am I game it for Mapuche Pantheon, War and Plunder? Uh, okay. I mean, it's not a bad deny, but I'm actually quite surprised he didn't go for uh, encampment. If he went for uh, God of War and Plunder. It, it could be that Montezuma also went for God of War and Plunder. It wouldn't be that bad for him. He should go for something towards trade. Also, I want to point out Montezuma is going to be on the coast. Uh, you see him on the west part of the map, which means uh, England uh, will have uh, a, an actual enemy to attack on the coast. He is, there is probably going to be so happy about it. As only ooh, ooh, making points so far. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're denying generals, yeah. Okay, so we do have uh, the golden started up. It looks like uh, Japan is going to have his monumentality. We do see uh, builders popping out of his city. He's uh, buying them with faith. We will probably see... Um Lotaro over here in a penbash and voice code and she is uh, popping out horses like there's no tomorrow and uh, trying to go for the last uh, second attack the city of Tokyo already will have a horse popping out next turn uh, that means uh, they're probably not gonna get the um, sought out result over there on that city uh, we do need to see the other nations i guess uh, the players are talking about the positioning of uh, or i should say Lee and hashki are talking about the positioning and the, what the moves can be uh, on mount kilimanjaro okay well we'll see we'll see Mapuche has no districts. Uh, yes, he doesn't have any dis any districts, but uh, he will put them down. It's not unheard of to actually see this uh, happening on the players, uh, getting PBV and uh, not having actually districts. But you're right, he's not going to get any bonus uh, points, which is kind of a bummer. And there we go. We got... Uh, more horses coming up uh, to the fight. Uh, Tokyo is... Uh, 
gonna slowly get surrounded. I, I don't think he's gonna fully get surrounded. I would need uh, Mapuche would need uh, significantly more horses to do so. And of course, you do see he's uh, trying to chop some out. Uh, he's go also gonna have the archers to attack into the units of uh, Japan and slowly dwindle that uh, pro uh, that uh, defense down. Uh, he does need to start attacking to the horses as soon as he possibly can. While Zulu is gonna get the chance, uh, uh, so will Japan. If Japan managed to uh, manages to get the general here, I think it will be attack over. It, it doesn't look like he's gonna have, or I should say Mapuche, is gonna have enough strength on his units, nor enough um, uh, positioning to uh, take out the first city, the first city of Tokyo. It's a bit too late. He got there too late, I would say. I wonder if uh, Russia denied the defender. Yeah. Uh, I think actually Tokyo went for a Crusade. I'm not sure of the order of uh, the religions, but I think he went Crusade. I'm certain somebody went Crusade. Uh, what is PBV? It's pen, brush, and voice. Uh, I don't think Japan has defender. Okay, so one horse uh, goes down. From what I can see, the two archers did manage to shoot it down with uh, one of the horse attacks. Now he is going to try to go against the city of Tokyo with a few units. And of course, we do see uh, more units are coming up from... Um, from Mapuche, he's also gonna have an encampment on the front line. Unfortunately, that will take three turns of uh, bill queues, uh, and that will not actually give him um, the result that he's uh, after. There can be a counter attack on the horse of Mapuche, and that can uh, take it out. Uh, Japan has Crusade, I think, but Russia had first religion. Okay, so Russia did go for uh, Defender. I, I did notice Defender as well, and uh, Japan did go for Crusade. If Japan is going to have a very, very nice bonus uh, attacking into Mapuche uh, with uh, those Samurais, especially if he does manage to convert Mapuche cities, which is probably likely, extremely likely, uh, we're going to have him... Um, uh, attack with uh, so much strength looks like there was also some form of a disaster over there on the coast from um, Zulu is gonna have uh, extra yields coming up from those uh, tiles on the coast to the north it's a, it was either a hurricane or uh, some form of uh, fire we got on the west side Kree going against Russia a few units only a few units coming up from him so war all over the place uh, it looks like uh, japan uh, japan england is gonna get uh, more cities out uh, one two three four uh, okay five six he's gonna have uh, six cities soon enough uh, he's also starting to get uh, those free boats coming up from his harbors and uh, we do notice um, yes japan did manage to take one of the mapuche um, horses out he's gonna take another one down and it looks like another one replaces it but these are not sustainable sustainable losses and especially uh, they're fighting for the city of Tokyo. Uh, the horse that was attacked did not die from Japan. It actually managed to retreat uh, behind uh, to the north of um, Tokyo in safe land. And of course, uh, if Mapuche doesn't actually keep on building units, and this is a trap of um, Irel Wars. If you don't keep on building units, you might end up uh, losing the front line. If you lose the front line, you're basically going to lose your cities afterwards. It's going to be very hard to come back from, especially if uh, Japan manages to convert those cities into his uh, crusade. Well, that's going to be amazing. Uh, someone might have passed to lower the cost. Okay. Yeah, I think he just recruited it late. It was fine. It's fine. We do have Kree with five cities. That's um, quite a bit of a good result from him. I'm a bit surprised that he didn't go uh, that many commercials, only one, two trade routes coming up for him, uh, which is, um, well, not going to be nice for the next part. Hungary is making uh, merchant points. I see also Aztec is making merchant points. 
both of them uh, did go for their commercials and now uh, next time we're probably gonna see uh, or I should say uh, Jap- Japan is gonna manage to get back uh, the positioning on uh, Mapuche while he did manage to get out uh, a general from um, his encampment he did manage to also pop a few of those horses coming up from Tokyo uh, you do see he's uh, also chopping a swordsman coming up from uh, that city center and uh, upgrading some more uh, which will allow him to keep pressuring back on Mapuche. Unfortunately Mapuche only has uh, two horses to work with uh, an encampment coming out next turn and uh, by the looks of it he's also trying to block the encampment of uh, Tokyo from finishing. Uh, I'm certain that uh, both of them are going to try to get to their uh, next technologies. Both of them are kind of irrelevant at the moment. Uh, APL on uh, 10 signs with uh, 18 culture and we do have uh, Aria on uh, 9 and 13 uh, which is well I guess a bit surprising but it is what it is oh I see Moksha actually in Tokyo uh, I think Mapuche did go for Moksha in the capital so maybe that's the difference over there a bit more well no it can't be actually oh monuments never mind holy sites versus uh, monuments I see uh, Zulu is coming up on Longoma with uh, a city center quite close to Mapuche to the front line. We do have uh, Zulu also with uh, two, four, six uh, cities. Uh, he's gonna get uh, quite a few production centers to build those units, and of course we do see uh, he. Uh, we do know that he's gonna have those impies. It's actually not that hard and uh, not unheard of for him to pass through these six tiles um, of hills to go against the cities of Mapuche and take them out. Um, Mapuche didn't manage to get his fourth and fifth city out, and if he. Uh, keeps being locked in a needle war here those implies will have an easy time going against them england had the double the corporate of the entire enemy team what really he's on 73 wait wait that's uh 73 in uh how to say um at the moment it's in the bank it's not per turn this is the score screen oh he's on 42 gold per turn oh my god that's a lot of gold per turn man we do have also Montezuma over here trying to get as much gold uh, per turn as possible. Uh, you do see he settled the cities quite close to the coast on the west side, which is extremely dangerous. Hungary over here is going to need to keep in check uh, Victoria. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Victoria is uh, going to wipe uh, Montezuma at some point clean off the map. Four cities coming up from Montezuma. Uh, did he show his Pantheon? I don't think it was a God of War and Plunder. I, you would have needed to make a lot more uh, merchant points if it was a God of War and Plunder. Uh, okay, so Goddess of the Hunt, it's not Goddess of the Hunt. He doesn't have the faith from the tiles because, you know, no Earth Goddess. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful Etemenaki city, by the way. Pex. Pest, actually. I think it's Pest. No Pantheon? No Pan. Come on. Show us the Pantheon, bro. Hello there, sir, and good evening. We do have a city on the coast coming up from uh, Zulu. It looks like uh, he might actually start uh, trading with uh, Kree. He's going to have uh, amazing trade outs on the water there. Now, they could get uh, pillaged by Aztec, but I'm not so certain Aztec wants to do that. Uh, looks like Russia is going to counter attack here into the Kree units. And uh, by the looks of it, um, um, Montezuma there doesn't have a city on the east, on the coast. Oh well, it is what it is. We do have uh, Tokyo coming up with walls next turn. Looks like he did manage to get his positioning on uh, in Kiamat again. Uh, he's starting to pressure uh, Molotaro this time. And of course, uh, the second he gets that crusade, he's going to start uh, to benefit from the plus five inside of the borders of uh, Lotaro. He might not even need to get the bonuses uh, of those impies coming against him coming to help him he's not gonna require asticos's help check out the next episodes Okay, Astic was here with 17 science and 30 culture. We do have him actually with the most culture in the game and most science. Oh no, actually it's Romrom Rom that has the most science with 10, 27, 26. Um, I would really love to see their um, golden ages. Would really love to see their golden ages. Where golden age, bro? Well, it is what it is. Uh, 
it looks like we do have Tokyo getting more units out now he is gonna have a lot more units than Lotaro on the field uh, Lotaro will be forced to build a few new ones uh, that if he wants to defend himself properly here and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see uh, Japan uh, try to get to his uh, samurais as soon as possible only on 14 culture though it's gonna take uh, quite a bit of time to get to um, uh, samurais we do have him uh, hard building a few of those swordsmen from the northern cities and i'm pretty sure he has in tokyo a lot of production coming up uh, from those tiles that's a three five tile on the east side from mount kilimanjaro yeah to be honest everybody has pv pbv as always well not everybody some of them have monumentality maybe we're gonna see some free inquiry from england uh, those are actually quite uh um, how to say quite interesting uh, aspects uh, i've seen actually a few players uh, starting up uh, to use um, damori for example uh, likes to use a uh, free inquiry with um, uh, moksha and uh, go for theater squares so it kind of depends on the players but yeah I, I do have to agree most of the time it's pbv like 70 percent you know 75 percent of the time Russia and Japan should be on monumentality indeed. Well, yes, that's only a summer. You very rarely. I know. That's why it's so good to see it, right? That's why it's uh, nice to check them. You just casually, you know, go through them. It takes a whole 30 seconds to go through them. Oh, city states, city states. City states. No. Show me the city states. Okay. No. Come on, bro. Anyway, um, I guess we can take a look at the map. I don't know exactly the names, but we can take a look at the map, what kind of city states we have. Uh, we got one, two of these, um, science, uh, three, cities, uh, three city states with science, actually. Uh, we got uh, Anshan, Taruga, and Bologna. Bologna. We got uh, Singapore with Mexico coming up for uh, industry. Looks like uh, we do also have uh, one city state for the uh, faith. That's in the north, right next to like right next to russia uh we do also have uh, two of the these military city states both are in the south part of the map and two culture ones okay not bad not bad kumasi is actually one of them this uh, might be quite nice i do see also uh, horses coming up from the english cities uh one city went down i'm not sure which one but it, oh i see creed did manage to take down a city uh, to the north of his territory he is uh, blocking russia from expanding on the west side that was lahore another one of these uh, military city states Uh, quite surprising that we do see England uh, going uh, as far to the west as possible. I'm actually quite, uh, imp uh, how to say, uh, interested, curious to see how um, England is going to play this out. He does have uh, more cities than Hungary at the moment, and he does have 14 cents with 24 culture. That doesn't really smell like a free inquiry golden age. It's more it smells like a pen, brush, and voice. Uh, he's also going to have 60 production with a 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5 city centers. Uh, very important. He's going to have the 6 one soon enough, and I did notice another in production. Uh, was this notification of a dying city state already there? I think so, right? Oh, La Venta is the, by the way, the um, faith city state in the north, in the east of Russia. North of the map, east of Russia. Sp Star Spanky! Bună seara, bună seara! Ce faci, domnule? Dothraki 117, uh, this game is leaning heavily towards Ulysse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, Rom Rom is getting the position on uh, Vodero, he's not gonna let him sim. We do have uh, Novak that did manage to get uh, stats up from uh, Etemenaki and uh, a few commercials. Looks like he's 21-29, uh, but then we, do, we do have Asticos just gonna get extremely big here, coming up with uh, multiple commercials. Uh, six cities uh, is gonna be on more soon. You do see uh, the settlers in production uh, and I'm pretty sure Montezuma over there even though we thought he's gonna get quite big it's uh, taking a little bit of more time than we are uh, used to I don't think he has that many cities to settle though or I should say he doesn't have that many cities he would like to settle because uh, I'm certain with this amount of land on the west side he can settle them it's just a matter of if he wants to do or not counter attack coming up on Mapuche his encampment died and that was quite quite a problem uh, he spent four turns to actually build that in Cameron up and you do see um, uh, Japan did manage to take it out in one turn just one tiny turn oh 
thank you so much, Ali the Spider, for the, the tier one sub. Thank you, sir. All that cost is kind of sus for Montezuma, for sure. Yeah. I'm certain he can actually uh, go and uh, settle all of that cost on the west side. Uh, England is going to be a problem for him, a pain in the neck. Uh, and uh, of course, we do need to see if he's going to manage to put at least a few boats in the water to disrupt the trades between Zulu and Cree. That would be quite awesome for him. Uh, Japan and Zulu will have all of uh, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ripping Cameron, indeed. He's, he's not even going to step on that in camera. He's just going to let it go and he's going to want to attack it. He wants Lotaro to spend a turn to finish that in camera again, like repair it. Okay, there we go. So we got, um, oh, bro. Um, yeah, well, I need to <laughs> wait. I'm, I'm finding this. I'm finding this out. I'm finding this out. So I'm going to need to go here and click on button so we can actually see what he chose. Right. He well, where is it? I think it's uh, here. There we go. Well, let's uh, see. I really need to take a look at these. Uh, did you see what they were, by the way? I didn't see the first ones. So I'm going to try to go for uh, the broadcast. And in the broadcast, I'm going to try to go for the those exact seconds when he put it up on the screen. So we get to see them. I just hope I get there fast enough. Okay, we do have uh, more of these uh, settlers coming up from, uh, as you can see over here, uh, Hungary. And they're going for the west side. He did notice uh, he's getting four settled by uh, England. And of course, England is going to try to get as much positioning as possible. Uh, so he doesn't uh, let uh, his opponent over there get the position on him. Yeah, uh, we do have... Come on over here. No, I can't, I can't find it. Wow. I actually can't find it. It's I'm sorry guys. I don't know what the religions are. As in I know one has defender that's uh, Russia and I know uh, Japan has crusade. I don't know what other bonuses they want. Like I would be interested to see Feed the World for example. I would be interested to see Coral Music uh, or uh, Work Ethic maybe. Uh, you know those could be options. Uh, what's uh, different from naval trade versus land so more gold? Yes, it's more gold exactly Basically, you do get more gold from uh, uh, the percentage of Water you go through like the trade route goes for uh, Might not be worth it if you can just trade to Cree uh, I, th I think with this amount of distance, it's actually it's definitely worth it it's definitely worth it. And of course, um, if you take into account Cree will have uh, commercials in most of his cities, uh, again, will probably be worth it. You do need, uh, you do get extra bonuses uh, from the districts uh, on international trade routes. So you have to um, usually send the trade routes cap to cap. That's the most valuable one. Usually the capital does have the most production with the most development. Not always, but I think you, you get my drift. You get my, what I mean. Uh, we do have a bit of an issue here with uh, Montezuma staying on four cities. Uh, he is uh, 12 science with 36 culture, 24 gold at 10. He did try to get the gold for his teammates, but now he's starting to, um, uh, how to say, uh, fall back with only 57 production. You can see uh, the production of all of his opponents over there uh, is um, going to get higher, except uh, Japan, who has been fighting for some time. But even Japan, if you take into account his face generation, is more production than uh, Montezuma on a free sim. Now, we do need to see when Japan is going to get his uh, samurais. At the moment, he's only 12 and 15, uh, 12 science and 15 culture. And also, He's going to need to get quite a few pre-builds uh, to work with. Uh, we do have uh, Zulu getting his builders, getting more. Wow, quite a few builders, probably all of them feudalism builders. He's going to get the chops, the improvements, and he's going to try to um, uh, get something done here. I'd also notice Hungary is going to take a while to get his cities going. Where is Russia going with that settler? Mm. 
uh, Coral for Russia, work ethic for Japan. Oh, thank you so much, Rafifi. So Coral for Russia, he's gonna get the extra culture for his... Why Coral, though? That's very surprising, Coral for Russia. So probably that's why he doesn't have uh, the population, which snowballs into not having enough district slots, which snowballs into a lot of uh, other bad things uh, later on in the game. It's no surprise that actually Rom Rom is um, out... Um, I would say out tempoing him so badly. Romrom with 35 science and 40 culture. Uh, he does have 68 production versus uh, Russia's uh, 10 science, 25 culture, and 50 uh, faith per 10. Only 51 production. Uh, where is the science coming up from uh, Zulu? Uh, I think campuses. We do have actually an attack coming up uh, against um, Hungary here with uh, only two horses and two swordsmen. Uh, we do see that uh, Victoria did bring the war to uh, the um, Hungarian doorstep. Uh, he, it immediately forced uh, Hungary to put some uh, swordsmen in production. Uh, doesn't have the option to go for pre or didn't actually have pre-builds. This is quite a problem uh, for a lot of the players. I, I don't know why um, most of the time you don't see pre-builds uh, or a lot of pre or some pre-builds uh, in the cities that uh, they know they will need to defend on uh, and uh, they do get um, surprised by these attacks well it does look like a force so we do need to see if um, you know, that city is going to get surrounded and um, if it will get uh, taken over by the time um, the swordsman come out, uh, comes out victorious bom dia bom dia uh, how are you doing sir how are you doing welcome Senor, actually, Senor, Victorious, bom dia. Um, my, uh, Russia might have gone just to fully deny Japan. Well, he, didn't he deny himself doing that? Like, work ethic on Japan is actually quite good. Uh, he's uh, doing nine more production and a uh, significant amount of faith more than April, for example. Uh, both of them staying on three series. We do have uh, Victoria putting down uh, those campuses. I see him uh, putting down more harbors as well. Uh, and he's going to get more stats. 21 science with 27 culture. Uh, does have a bit of a problem with Novak. But it looks like he will probably manage to take him down. Uh, definitely we need to check out Zulu science. I do see him on 29 science and 36 culture. My assumption is he does have um, Pingala first of all. So he's getting at least 7-8 points from Pingala of science. And then he's going to need to get... Uh, he he would, need, would need to get... Uh, a few campuses at least two campuses i think he had enough motors to put the plus threes at least so that would be uh, enough uh, denying coral uh, to japan slows down samurais by quite a bit yeah it does it does indeed uh, russia kind of has uh, some food in the capital from camps and the uh, volcano popping but not enough yeah it's not enough i agree it's not enough honestly it's very um I'll say very few times you're gonna have enough food like almost all of the time you would always get to work uh, you're always gonna get some benefits from having more food you know more population is good more population is good the 13 science Aztec yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Well, it looks like Hungary over here did manage to plug in a Gogi and uh, he is going to pump out uh, three of these swordsmen next turn. Uh, and uh, not to mention, I do see him uh, trying to get the photo settle or his opponent. I uh, would really love to see Zulu. Come on, show us Zulu. Show me the Zulu. Show me the Zulu. 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 Uh, to the south. To the south. No. To the south. To the south. Go down, go down, and move it all around. Come on. I see more cities coming up from Zulu to the north over there. Asticos is well known for settling a lot. Likes to go wide more than he likes to go tall. Uh, we do have him on two, four, and six, seven cities at the moment with uh, more settlers in production. Uh, 41 military strength. <laughs> well, he's 50. Well, I get, oh my God, actually, you nailed it. Montezuma doesn't have military strength at all uh, he does have uh, i guess a uh, goal per turn and that's not gonna be enough as yes, it should be finished him at the moment do you think he doesn't realize it only four series i 
I'm actually curious what is Montezuma's problem. I think it's the quality of the cities. He's just not uh, liking them that much. And because of that, he's not... Okay, uh, holy... Uh, campus. I see a camp plus three campus over there. And, oh my god. Come back. Come back to reality. Zulu. No? Doesn't work? No? Ah, doesn't work. Oh well. Uh, good evening, Vida Monster. Good evening, sir. Uh, I just realized that this is uh, like a movie Inception. You're observing the observer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm observing the observer. Man, I couldn't. I couldn't actually pass on um, Leech over there, asking me uh, for the slot. I, you know, it's his birthday. You guys, uh, by the way, you should actually give him a holla over there, give him a happy birthday, uh, and. I do hope uh, you're gonna see him. Uh, give him a live long and prosper type of um, a cheer. The struggle is real. Yeah, uh, we are observing the guy who is observing the observer. <laughs> the greatest of them all. Yes, yes, exactly. He's the greatest of them all. Uh, have you tried jumping between the spectators? Yes, Tothraki, I have both of them over here. It's just uh, at some point uh, we did have... Um... Okay, so I think Hash K is a bit too fast on the on the buttons over here. Uh, as in, he's definitely moving the screen way too fast for us to follow something. Uh, and then on Leech, we, we did have him uh, settle down a little bit. I think uh, we just caught him uh, in a good moment here. But yes, I'm I'm actually moving b between both of them. Um, okay, so we got a counterattack coming up on Sheffield. Looks like uh, Russia is also going to get counterattacked over here. Would uh, still love to see what Japan has done, except to do a line over there of units. Uh, of course, on the Russian side, I don't yet see a campus. Even though I do see his government plaza did place it. Re religion valor deem he go he went for tithe he went for tithe woo, 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 woo. he went for tithe over there that was uh japan right he japan went tithe that's why he's making the 14 gold a turn very nice very nice we got it um trojan man also i thought the game looked different i was confused checking my internet connection oh yeah i'm sorry sir i'm sorry we're we're actually wait looking at um i would say at the stream uh, from uh, discord yeah, we do have um, the city of Pex with one... Oh, he's gonna save it. He's gonna save it. There is no unit to attack into the city. And look at that. Hungary over here did manage to save his city of Pex. The walls coming up next turn. Uh, we do have, uh, even though we do have uh, him coming up with more units, uh, he is gonna manage to take them down next turn. <laughs> Those units. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was so fast. Uh, Legion's Grandlands will look so uh, green. Uh, yeah, I guess dark green, dark greenish. Now, uh, in the meantime, I do like that Rigi did manage to get um, a bit more uh, science. And as you can see over here, is uh, trying to uh, take out the city of Pex. Uh, he didn't manage to arrive at 41 science with 36 uh, culture, while um, Novak is on 31 and 38, uh, forcing his opponent over here to um, build units instead of. Uh, oh no! just went against the walls to sacrifice the unit for the great defeat of the city of Pex over there unfortunate it is what it is uh, every land seems dark greenish here yeah it's all about the night mode uh, uh, gamers not used to bright colors by the way, do you? Uh, I did actually try to get um, as uh, good colors as possible on my uh, stream usually. So, what, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer my color setting uh, and, of course, uh, how you see the lighting, uh, lighting on the on the stream, or this kind of you know darkish theme over here? The plain hills uh, looks like normal uh, grassland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so it's much better that way. Okay, like, like more lighting, more uh, uh, obvious details, and so on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Lighter for you. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's that's very good feedback. So I I'm gonna keep it like this because you know you never know. You you should always I, I should always ask uh, the viewers. Oh, they like it? That, that was just my personal preference, so. But I play in a night mode myself, used to it. 
Oh, really? You actually play night mode? Wow. Interesting. How? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I've actually used a lot with so much, so many colors and lights and so on. Uh, don't care about the light, but you should get a strippers pole. Hey, what? Oh, maybe maybe one of those hot tubs back here. What, what do you think? What do you guys think? Should I get a hot tub for my streams? I, I'm going to comment from a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> man that would be can you imagine actually playing for from a hot tub and taking out players like can you imagine imagine this going into a cpl ffa man nobody knows you right nobody knows you and then <laughs> You do manage to take out two players, three players, and when they tune in to your stream after watching you, you're like inside of a hot tub with like steaming, uh, uh, steaming be uh, water behind you, and you're playing on a laptop with only the touchpad. <laughs> if I keep the hat, <laughs> yeah. just came back. Why did I miss so Michael getting a pole? <laughs> well, the stream is trying to make me get a pole over here. Definitely. Uh, over here we got star spanking making me <laughs> i'm probably not gonna get a poll just saying you know yeah uh, and geothermal fishing inside my room yeah yeah you turn on the camera in discord so everybody in the lobby sees it yeah <laughs> exactly and i i'm also uh, you know sipping cocktails over there those uh, you know the three colored ones from uh, multiple like the fruit ones that you get in uh <laughs> man i don't have the money for that bro and I, I don't think i'm gonna do it anyway even if i had the money it's it's all good anyway we do have uh, cannibals coming out from uh, kyoto looks like uh, he did manage to prepare a decently uh, sized army for those uh, for that uh, samurai push we do have uh, japan coming up over here with uh, 20 sizes 17 culture uh, 54 production as well uh, we do have we do have uh, defense coming up from lotaro the biggest uh, problem is golden age i would love to see the golden age points uh, coming up from uh, japan if it's gonna go dark oh my god can you imagine dark age on japan with samurais with a general and with crusade on going against puel mapu so he takes away the plus five of lotaro on him then he adds a plus five on him from the plus five dark age card and boom you got crusade on ooh, ooh. that's gonna be amazing uh, anyway i see another campus coming up on zulu i do see he's on uh, 42 science with uh, 50 culture and finally we do have the first samurai oh no no dark age oh no oh no 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 he can't get dark i don't think he can get dark age i think he still wants to go for a golden age which is i guess interesting as well but not as interesting as if it was a dark age uh, we do have come on show us the way and so improving a unique unit or unique improvement does give you four points it's very likely that he already made quite a few points in the second era so i don't think he he can manage to get a dark age here yeah, good evening, Bert Hachon. Good evening. Also, Justice, actually, I did exactly that. Dark Age Samurai with General. Then my team screwed out of a military. With a, it was a nice game. Well, I think even without the military alliance, you could even uh, you could still go for it, right? Uh, Fangari, also, good evening, sir. Any lakes near Mapu? Uh, well, we got Puel Mapu, yeah, with a lake. Uh, them those horses need expos yeah and it looks like uh, england was forced to uh, d um get back to defend the city of liverpool i do see uh, governor victor established in that city center and we do have an encampment coming out sir kells thank you very much for the follow sir we're actually let me let me check this out we are eight followers away from getting to five thousand wow eight followers guys eight followers and we're gonna get to that five thousand mark whoa let's go 
We do have um, uh, Sprigante moving in with the Samurais, of course uh, Crusade just activated on the city of uh, borders of Puelmapu. Uh, we do have walls going up next turn and you do see uh, the uh, Swordsman does have a serious issue attacking into um, those Samurais. Of course um, I do believe we're going to need to see over here uh, the Swordsman get into Men at Arms or get the upgrades into Men at Arms. Uh, I'm actually curious if April is going to get that technology, uh, metal something. We do need to see uh, how fast he's going to get there and of course uh, if he's going to have the gold from his allies. Uh, it doesn't look like they're generating that much gold. Uh, of course uh, the Samurais will have uh, quite an easy goal for uh, the city centers uh, of Puelmapu, especially with uh, the battering ram. Uh, we do see Puelmapu is at the moment 41 strength. It's going to boost a little bit higher with the uh, governor victor inside of it and the walls going up next turn. Not to mention we do need to see crossbows also coming up from um, Japan. Um, he does have 500 military versus AP also 551. Uh, so plus 10 Mapu. Uh, so no ally yet for Mapuche. And oh, wait, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. So uh, we do need to see the damage here, the damage counters. I'm not so sure because, again, the movement is a bit chaotic here. We got a bit too much uh, movement from them. Let's see the damage points. Come on. The interest points. No. Oh, we got a general. Uh, you see the military engineer coming up in Bulawayo. I think... Um, Burika, I believe it's the new general with uh, the military engineer bonus, uh, did get recruited earlier by Zulu and uh, it started going for uh, this. Uh, Kree was going dark, two times for uh, crossbows for Japan, yeah. Oh, was that a Mount Kilimanjaro exploding? No, it, it can't be. They fought each other, right? I think they fought each other, yeah. Okay, let's see the first moves coming up on him. It looks like in the south uh, there was a counterattack from Mapuche. Did, make, uh, did manage to take down one of the swordsmen. Which I gotta say, it was a little bit out of position. Uh, we do have walls uh, coming up in Puelmapu. The second he um, put out his uh, swordsman or moved out the swordsman actually from that city center, it lost the strength. Uh, we do have multiple catapults also coming up from uh, Tokyo and Kyoto. Uh, three of them on the way towards the front line. Hey, thank you so much, the Beer Bandit. Much appreciated, sir. It looks like there's a bit of a lack of gold or maybe iron coming up on uh, Tokyo. Uh, he didn't upgrade all of his uh, samurai. Well, I guess it's not iron, it's gold. He didn't upgrade all of his uh, samurais. Uh, that would have been a bit better, I would say. A much stronger attack. I do have to point out, we do have already Kree with uh, 71 science and 51 culture. He's definitely getting uh, both of those uh, techs up, uh, both of those uh, outputs up. While Vodero next to him is uh, 20 and 50, uh, he and there is a bit of a problem here with uh, the difference between those stats. Uh, we do have uh, Zulu also coming up with um, a decent chunk of those stats, 48 and 55. Uh, he is uh, probably going to be the one who's going to clean up Mapuche at some point. It's just a matter of time until he's going to get uh, to move. Uh, it looks like um, finally uh, we did have Montezuma manage to get a few more settlers out, 2, 4, 6, 7 from what I can see, which uh, does mean he's gonna get to put down more commercials which does mean he's gonna manage to get more gold for his teammates now uh, we do have uh, on their side actually 32 gold generated by novak uh, 26 on orancy and then april is gonna be on nine uh engineer making roads yeah engineer making roads uh, everybody on or is on the defense uh ornithorings roses is in trouble yes sir uh this is the game uh, looks looking a bit over and it looks like they're definitely getting an uh, outmatch on multiple sides here and the ones that would need to be going for the late game here it's uh it looks like uh, it's gonna have a bit of a trouble here uh, that's the montezuma actually orancy is uh, not getting the land that he would need to develop his uh, cities on and i 
don't think he actually um, managed to match his uh, district discount properly there. Uh, not to mention the um, expansions of his uh, ter uh, territory. A bit late on the settlers uh, because he needed to get the gold. So it was a mixed bag of things that happened over there on Montezuma. Um, he settled the three cities. He noticed his allies will need gold. So he went for commercials. Because he went for commercials, he didn't uh, manage to discount them properly. Uh, be and then... Uh, while he was building his commercials and uh, um, how to say trade routes, uh, uh, the markets and the traders, uh, he stopped expanding because he couldn't get both. Uh, that means uh, his next up cities were too late. While he, his allies, uh, his uh, opponents, did manage to get those extra cities, and then they managed to get a lot more stats than him. Uh, uh, then he can output as an economy. It you, you can see the snowball happening over there on the west side and that was quite unfortunate but it was it all started from the fact that he definitely needed to help out his allies in the gold screen because he was a bit too I would say far away from the front line and his only uh, advantage was to um, uh, give his, uh, his his only way of helping out his allies was to give them the gold uh, did we have a winner vote no should we have a winner vote? Okay, sh let's let's go actually for a prediction here over here. I think we did have a prediction with the remap and I totally forgot to do it. Uh, I dropped the ball on this one, I'm sorry. Uh, we had one remap and one um, technical, so I think one remap in total. And uh, let's actually put a prediction coming up on the winner. Uh, who will win? And we got on one side Ulysses. On the other side, uh, Ornithorynx. Ornithorynx. And let's go for 10 minutes. Let's go for 10 minutes, guys. Let's go. Also, thank you very much. Obrigado, Victorious, for reminding me. And the walls are down in Pearl Mapu. We do have a catapults uh, right next to that city center, uh, smacking those defenses down. Uh, it looks like we're also gonna have uh, more of these um, swordsmen coming up from the main cities of Mapuche. Uh, his uh, second city, Wente Mapu, did get converted to um, the religion of Japan that's gonna be crusaded in. And uh, I do see some chops of units in Nongoma, but I don't know what they are. Please show it. Please, please, please. Oh my. Okay, we got. You've seen over there a few uh, swordsmen coming up from. Um, uh, Asticos. Uh, men at arms or muskets musket cores can totally overwhelm Mapuche here like there's there's not gonna be a unit that he can put on the map to defend those uh, again cores with generals is just too much strength on them uh, we do have uh, Grandmaster Chapel coming up from Russia he is on 143 faith in the bank not a lot though it's a bit unfortunate, it is what it is. We do have uh, hanging gardens coming up from Cree. I believe uh, quite a few of them are trying to get their um, era score points. Unfortunate that we don't see the era score tab over here. I would uh, definitely love to see that. Uh, Mapuche can't get Jones also. Yeah. Uh, did uh, Japan did manage to get the plus five? Yes, he did manage to get his... Um, or did he? Military alliance. He was lacking a military alliance earlier. I'm not sure because I didn't see the uh, I see the combat general I see crusade but I don't see the plus five from uh, military alliance yeah it's not there so still no plus five uh, we do have um, Mapuche with a plus five from the military alliance Yeah, but he needs to get next to the lakes, right? That was a change. Oh, look at look at Hungary trying to attack into Zulu and managing to get into a Zulu swordsman course. Okay, well, beat that. And there was a change, right? On uh, let me see. On Japan, where is the change over here for five oh zero? 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Any hugs? Uh, what in No. Actually, I don't see it in the BBG change. Nice to see Mapuche getting uh, grift is nice to see. I, <laughs> you, you really don't like Mapuche. <laughs> okay. Uh, 16, 16 culture is taking him forever to get the alliance. Yeah, especially if he's boosted and he's taking so long. But anyway, you do see he's dealing a lot, a serious amount of damage anyway. And I would definitely love to see the era score if he does manage to get the golden or um, another one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Mohenio Daro looks like uh, it's gonna be a dead city soon. Uh, we do have uh, multiple units coming out from uh, Zulu. Uh, might as well just take it out uh, now. Uh, don't let it grow, and you do get some. He will get some um, extra promotions from it, uh, some experience points. Uh, more of those um, campuses are also in the build queues. Uh, I do see England did manage to get to 75 uh, science and 52 culture. Uh, definitely booming ahead of. Um, uh, Novax, Novax is uh, Novak is on uh, 39 and 60. Uh, we do have also Rom Rom on Cree on 84 and 62. Uh, again, with a very very good mountains, he's gonna get a lot of uh, campuses going. Uh, he did start up his universities quite early to build, and I'm pretty sure he can uh, out uh, city, um, well out spam I should say in the city counts um, uh, Russia. We do have Asticos with 52 science and 61 culture. He definitely will get a lot more science. And it looks like uh, right now uh, we do have a war for Puel Mapu. Uh, you, do see, you do see Maple is uh, trying uh, as hard as possible to uh, defend himself against uh, his opponent here. But he did get crusaded. So uh, there's an extra plus five coming up against him. A bit, uh, so, well, a bit sad with uh, how much... Uh, culture japan is generating because he's going to be quite late on the military alliance and we still don't know if he's going to manage to get his uh, next uh, golden age or not very important if he does manage to get the dark age that will be insanely strong for japan uh, then he doesn't have second promotion motion are we gonna get to see monasticos this game <laughs> that would be amazing but i don't think so i, I don't think so sir um also could also be minus amenities on monument or wait what Oh, you mean uh, Japan? Why is he so low in um, culture? He does have Moksha in Tokyo, though. taken down oh my god he didn't leave he he didn't let his opponent uh, get those units out and he did take it down raised it to the ground Spligante was so fast on the buttons over there uh, whoever voted for who can split my 10 channel points between yourself i don't care how they get divided <laughs> oh my god everybody's voting you see now okay i see Uh, Sprigante about to get to 100 science and 66 culture. You do also notice uh, there is quite a bit of a difference in the um, production from uh, the two. Oh, we got. Okay, so we got uh, Japan actually going for a golden age. He's uh, 53 55. We might actually get it. We do need to see. Oh, he's going to get. You see the theater square coming up in uh, Tokyo, in Kyoto. Is that. That's a plus two. 
Yeah, that's only a plus two, though. You got Stonehenge in Kyoto. I don't see anything else, though. Oh, well, we'll see. I, I do hope uh, he's going to manage to get those two points uh, to stay in the Golden Age. It's going to be, well, I guess, you know, the the least golden age that you want to be in it's a normal age you either want to be in a dark age or you want to be in a golden age there's no in between normal age is bad you know like there's no bonuses yeah crosses uh, fingers and holds breath yeah was that pose used to deny first moves from opponent uh, sky cry hex i think no the the moves already were there um but and uh, they were done by Springate. He, uh, he killed a unit of uh, april before he could react uh, and he had um, to unstack the units from his uh, city center uh, he didn't have time to unstack uh, the units from the city center because he was already getting attacked and not even this not even with the pause he couldn't actually get uh, the units out of the city center so yeah i think that's what uh, they were talking about here uh, so it was uh it was Japan that was saying uh, bro, and then uh, April did say bro back, and uh, April said uh, he didn't say he didn't do nothing again. Unquote, I believe it's uh, do it again or something or again, and then um, uh, Japan said uh, it wasn't the first. Uh, first and third dark are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second dark is also bad. As a third, there are choices aren't uh, great. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, most of the time on first, second, on third, you do get the plus five card. So if you're in uh, some form of uh, attack over here with uh, Japan, for example, going against Mapuche, I think second dark would be awesome. Uh, because uh, like, like I was pointing out, first of all, you do in this particular situation, you deny him the plus five and then you get another plus five on you from the dark age card. So it's a plus 10 that you get there. Yeah, the only good thing is the card, yeah, yeah, basically. And again, it's just specifically for this type of situation. Because in most cases, let's be real, you want to go golden. You want to go golden, golden, dark, gold, like heroic. Right? That, that's, the, that's the ideal way of going about it. Uh, some players do manage to get golden, 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 golden. Some players uh, do want to go a third dark age. Uh, some players, for example, or well, some saves actually call out for um, uh, dark. What do we have here? Oh, he's looking at the Black Army. The Arme Noir. Well, looking at uh, Russia, he did manage to get uh, quite a few more cities. I do see we just went into the next era and uh, we will need to see what the uh, points of change will be here. Uh, looking at um, Arya and APL coming up over here, Japan and Mo uh, Lotaro. Lotaro did uh, drop down to two cities. Now he's trying to push a little bit back with his units. Uh, of course, uh, Japan doesn't have plus five um, because he doesn't have a city <laughs> borders uh, to work that plus five in. I do see he is going to manage to try to get a city on the west side there. And uh, we do have the engineer coming up from uh, Zulu trying to um, create the road. On the west side, uh, we do also have um, ooh, Montezuma getting units out. That's actually quite interesting. Montezuma over here we will um, have a 60 science with 86 culture. He did manage to get Colosseum from Tlacopan. Uh, and that is a 246 city Colosseum from what I can see. He's getting a few more science points out and a lot of commercials. Uh, he knows that... Um, it, Victoria is in trouble. He is um, getting pushed by Hungary back and Victoria didn't manage to get 
uh, I don't think he actually managed to get a fleet out. Well, he's going to have three boats anyway coming from his harbors, and I do hope uh, he's actually going to keep them. Mm, I'm not so sure if Riggy will have enough science to go for the top three and the middle three for his ballistics to defend himself against uh, Hungary, and of course later on go for steel and so on and so forth. It, it is going to be quite a challenge to see everything coming up for him. Um, I, do also, I do notice London did manage to build... Um, Oracle, which is quite important. He's going to get the, those extra points uh, in the Admirals. And you do see his uh, whew, 14 points a turn uh, in the Admiral screen. Uh, of course, uh, he's also trying to put out some more gold generating uh, districts, like the commercials, uh, on the land. While he is going to have to confront Montezuma. I'm not so sure he, they know about Montezuma. Uh, as in, yeah, I don't think they know about exactly what Montezuma is doing in the vision. Like they don't, if they don't have vision on his land, they don't know exactly what's going on. Also, since uh, this will uh, uh, be a pause over here for the um, uh, Congress, give me a minute. I really need to get to the bathroom as well. Okay, let's go. Uh, why not go free with a full uh, commercial bonus uh, on Diggy? That's a good question. I think he went uh, second pen Russian voice. Uh, and the main reason there, I think, uh, would be he didn't actually get the time to build com uh, theater squares, even though. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, combat rapproche? What was that? Combat rapproche? Was that uh, anti cabs? No. Ah, close, melee, melee, this is melee, right? Rapproche is melee. Yeah, must be, it should be melee. Okay, then, then we do have Fua with uh, double, okay, double, okay, that, that's gonna nerf Russia. Oh, on Hungary. Oh, I see, on Hungary. Well, Hungary is... Uh, uh, yeah, well, I, I'm actually curious how much does he... Did he build theater squares? Yeah, he did. So I think you're right. I think he should have actually gone uh, for inquiry here. Uh, it's, I think, all about the timings. Does he actually need more science to go about this? But I think he does, especially with uh, England uh, next to him. Now he dies to field cannons. Um, you know what can be a stopper to that? The fact that England will need to go ca um, top three for um, cartography. Because Oransi here is already six turns away from cartography. He's uh, going to get his uh, caravels and will probably try to push Victoria. Uh, while Victoria Rigi is uh, going for castles and that is going to be an issue. Yeah, Kree boosts uh, everything top, so England catch it but stuff fast. Yeah, wait, not really, actually. You mean bottom? 
Oh, at, at bottom, yeah, boost bottom. I don't know why I did that as a top, but yeah, on bottom he he boosts everything. Yeah, he he should be able to catch. The the thing is, there are still like six, seven technologies that usually you need to go on the bottom three. So even if uh, everybody everything is boosted, you still need to go for those six, seven turns. And though you would say six, seven turns, it's uh, not a long time, but actually it's a long time. It's a very long time actually in the game. If somebody gets to do a powerful push against you, I've seen games won with only two turns of advantage. If it's that, you know, that on the secondary, it's so big of an advantage. What I am sad of is uh, I don't see more uh, Carvos um, pre-builds coming up for um, Oransi. Uh, even if he is a four turns uh, cartography, I believe uh, he should get at least, at least 12 um, galleys. Yeah, just to have what to upgrade into caravels if uh, push comes to shove and uh, even more I would say even more would be uh, necessary uh, six seven turns in three series with a good push they can't afford yeah that's another thing yeah I don't know what the gold income is but I'm just talking about you know it's better to have the galleys than not have the galleys like even if you don't have the, the gold it's just better to have them pre-built because you can keep on upgrading them while if you don't have them hard building them is gonna be such a problem Ah, we got Mapuche sneaking in the horse then to get a, a pillage off. Still on two cities, he can't afford to go for more here, and it looks like he's uh, getting pushed back. Uh, we do have uh, those samurais moving on the front line, carpools behind them, trebuchet I see in the middle of uh, those um, uh, crossbows. The only thing that I can help actually Mapuche at this point is um, Mount Kilimanjaro, and we got a G G April. Did not see a way out of this and he did GG the game to Team Ulysses. Uh, we do have another win on the board for the big boys themselves. We got Ulysses over here with uh, quite a track record this um, uh, CFR season. They do have quite a few new recruits on their side and we did see um, they did manage to replenish their... Um, roster at the beginning and it looks like they didn't manage to recruit very very good players on the, on their side of course uh, we do have um, to see what they're gonna talk about in the post game chat we definitely want to see what went wrong over here uh, and of course uh, what uh, do they think about it uh, i do have to point out since of course it will be a legit stream coming up over here uh, we do need to see um also um actually let's go let's go Let's go over here so I get the spot. Uh, we're gonna hear a lot of French because it is also there are two streamers um, streaming for the French community talking in French for the French. So I'm I don't really, really want to intrude, but it would be an honor if they actually answer some of our questions if we actually have that big of a questions. I I think actually most of the reasoning over here of what they did we did go out. We just I just have a few questions. For example, what was the pantheon of Montezuma, uh, Lotaro? Also, what was the pantheon of Lotaro? Um, and and that's about it. Because otherwise we we did see what was going on. So let's hear my uh my french has been getting better well i hope so i hope so <laughs> uh i yeah i do spend quite a bit of time uh, around four hours a week uh two hours and two hours in two sessions uh, to try to learn it but it, it you know it takes time because i have other things to do and the french is not uh, the main priority but i'm trying i'm trying as much as possible to uh, maybe when i get to lyon i'm actually gonna get to uh, handle a, a simple conversation over there so okay let's let's hear a bit from the players so let's uh, let's go and get a deep brief going ah mais tu m'avais dit qu'il savait en fait en fait ah mais je l'ai vu deux tours plus tard que ce que j'aurais dit je crois ce qui m'a ce qui m'a rendu ouf aussi c'est que T1 je vois de l'eau à gauche je me dis ok pas de problème je clique sur mes pas de forme co tranquillement en me disant c'est 2v1 naval je vais pas naval alors que j'aurais pu cette le naval T1 enfin T2 et je vais sur mes plateformes co et je commence à avoir de l'eau à droite et en fait je vois que je suis sur sur ah ouais parce que là si tu prends le contrôle de l'eau à gauche et à droite tu peux casser la game tu casses bah, le trail avec le cri, tu... il y a double front sur l'anglais, ça peut faire très mal. Mais, mais ouais. au, mom au moment où j'ai les positions de, où j'ai les... les positions euh, adéquates, enfin ou en tout cas moi où j'ai les informations de ce que je peux faire dans la game, bah je sur les plateformes co pour remonter port. Parce que sinon je pose mes premiers ports et on est tour 40 quoi. Mm -hmm. Donc, euh... Donc du coup. Euh... 
Enfin, moi, j'ai j'ai pas un peu paniqué quand j'ai quand j'ai vu l'élevé de la cité état là de, de la <rire> J'avais toujours pas d'alliance militaire. J'étais là genre pff, putain. Ah c'est bah... cool parce que vous l'aviez vu moi une Daro avant que je déclare la guerre ou pas Euh oui je crois. Je crois ouais, que. Bah, parce que je déclare la guerre, je fais c'est bon, je peux enfin tuer les pre-builds. Et dans la foulée, bim. <rire> le ah, comme d'armes. Non, il y avait il y avait encore des il y avait encore des trucs. Il y avait encore des. Enfin les guerriers étaient chez toi. Je suis pas sûr moi. Je suis pas sûr, j'ai vu Mojo Pop, euh, j'ai fait bon vas-y, faut, faut faire des trucs dans la game, tu vois, on était derrière, on le savait, euh, ah, tente, ouais, faut tenter des trucs. J'aurais dû déclarer voilà. la guerre plus tôt et j'aurais dû mettre un archer ou quoi, j'avoue que... Alors moi j'ai juste une question à poser, euh, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé au congrès <rire> ah, Comme d'hab, on parle de tout et de rien et à 3 secondes de la fin on a pas décidé du coup. <rire> Parce que vous avez tous les quatre voté un truc différent. <rire> bon, faut, il faut vraiment qu'on ait un truc qu'il y avait un autre qu'on m'a rapproché. <rire> on est tous pas d'accord, on argumente, on argumente, on argumente, ah ouais, on est, est pas cons... plus... euh... à dire qu'il y a plus de force qui va contester les choix que de force de proposition de choix. Ouais, c'est vrai. Et du coup, on est à 3 contestes, aucun choix. Ouais, il vous manque et là, quelqu'un quelqu fait un call, épaules, il reste quoi. 4 secondes et t'entends non, mais... <rire> et là, tu <rire> sais que c'est mort. <rire> <rire> ok. Ouais, ouais, euh... faut... faut... C'est un point d'amélioration, faut qu'on travaille là-dessus. <rire> Ça, ça peut vraiment nous coûter des games, donc à un moment on le sait. On... on va travailler sur une communication plus concise pendant les congrès. En tout cas, vous avez apporté du spectacle, hein. c'était bien là, le front japonais. C'était très tatouche. sympa. Euh, ouais, c'était très, très très sympa. Moi je trouve que, en tout cas, votre draft a été très compliqué à jouer les oiseaux. Je trouve là que sur Pangé Standard, dans cette situation là où on a besoin d'un Mathias et d'un Mapouche qui, vraiment, qui soit vraiment pertinent en mid-game, euh, l'Aztec et le Russe derrière. Euh, pff, c'est pas le truc, j'ai l'impression qu'il peut plus supporter ces, ces deux pics justement en début de jeu, donc du coup compliqué, bah... après il y a une belle draft hein. Il vous manque des pics à gold en fait Bah c'est plus que ça tu vois, c'est pas que pic à gold, c'est euh, pas facile parce que quand tu pars lieu sain avec une cible naturellement, bah forcément tu vas faire un petit peu moins d'argent, ça va être un peu moins facile pour... Il y a eu un débat, il y a eu un débat, on se posait la question Perse ou Russie tu vois mais ouais. euh, ah, le truc c'est que on s'est dit euh, la Russie free sim nous ouvre une condition de victoire que le Perse ne peut pas nous ouvrir tu vois. Ah bah B2 était du doux, c'était vachement vite je trouvais. Je suis d'accord ouais, mais est-ce que tours, vous, vous pensez pas que vous partez un peu dans tous les plans de jeu quand vous draftez euh, Mapouche plus euh, Mathias en début de game et puis après que vous draftez une Russie Je pense que ça dépend, ça dépend beaucoup des CS tu vois genre si je peux suivre Zanzibar en, en early game et être un peu plus tranquille je pense que je peux, je peux vraiment avoir un, un montant de GPT qui est, qui est monté à 50-70 GPT assez facilement. Et, euh, et pouvoir supporter, euh, supporter les deux, tu vois. Alors peut-être je vais pas lever deux sèches, je vais en lever qu'une, tu vois. Mm -hmm. Mais derrière, il y a les malons, ils sont prêts, tu vois. Euh, une autre chose par rapport au trade costal, genre euh, vous avez pas voulu jouer la côte. On a ça a open Japon du côté de Ulysse en deuxième rotation, euh, dans la deuxième phase de pique. Et puis après, vous avez répondu justement la Russie plus la steak. Vous êtes posé la question, on va sur le costal. Ça aurait costal. pu vous faire plaisir, je pense. Ouais, l'Egypte aurait été parfait dans votre compte. Ouais, on la banne. <rire> Ah c'est vous qui avez ban Ouais c'est nous qui avons ban Ah Tu vois on pensait que c'était l'inverse Parce qu'on s'est dit ça rentrait parfaitement dans la draft Bah ouais ouais exactement j'étais là Petite Egypte ça serait ça serait top J'ai vu ban Egypte et j'ai fait ah c'est mal Ah bah du coup je fais pas mal D'accord Non mais est-ce que vous avez parlé du Costal Est-ce que vous avez parlé d'un Portugal Parce que je trouvais qu'un Portugal, ça pouvait rentrer si vous jouiez le Costal justement sur cette ligne. Mais quand il y a eu l'Open Japon, je trouvais que c'était vraiment très très bien pensé du côté de Ulysse parce que ça dénage ouais. justement cette possibilité d'avoir par exemple Portugal plus Angleterre ou Portugal plus X, euh, plus Kublai Lai China par exemple. Euh, ouais. Et nous, on peut répondre Japon et Norvège par exemple, ou le Japon et encore une fois Angleterre, et pouvoir contester drastiquement le naval. Là, euh, ouais, je... je je sais pas, est-ce que vous avez pensé au naval du coup ou pas Bah en fait euh, on n'y a pas trop pensé parce que notre main naval c'est Apple et c'est lui qui joue le mapuche. Ah ok, donc c'était limité euh... par euh, les, les compétences. Euh, voilà c'est ça, <rire> on s'est dit, dit le... c'est un point qu'on doit, qu doit améliorer et mm. on est un peu limité. Euh... Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there, and I do think, um, of course, uh, we, we did hear them uh, talk a little bit about uh, the Congress, the Plus 5 from the Congress. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I think uh, HK did notice uh, something uh, of a miscommunication during the World Congress. Maybe some uh, one of them uh, did vote uh, on opposite way. Uh, they did, uh, they did uh, get the Plus 5 from the Congress, and they did get the double um, uh, necessary faith. 
I'm not sure on the last option because I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, uh, we did also um, have them talk a little bit about the war between Mapuche and uh, Japan, uh, the samurais and so on, and not to mention the sous of uh, Mohenjo-Daro. Uh, Asticos did laugh a little bit uh, that Novak sues that exactly when he was uh, getting the pre-builds <laughs> for the west side and he was having uh, units ready over there uh, to defend him, but not really wanted to go against Mohenjo-Daro. It is what it is. Uh, like he, he needed to um, uh, move a, little, a few units and uh, that was it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we did see that they didn't have enough call to uh, uphold this game. Uh, we did have also Ulysses managing to get uh, quite a bit of... Um um, uh, how to say, uh, extra stats to go against their opponent's production uh, did set up a lot more uh, series and of course it worked wonderfully. Uh, so um, I would have uh, less on Itorin's Roses, uh, conceded the game to Team Ulissi and Team Ulissi did just manage to get another one of those points on their side and uh, we do need to see what they're going to do in the, in the rest of the tournament. They have a really good shot of getting the first seed uh, for um, the CVFR community going into the next season of the CWC Season 7 which does start in November. And also want to thank you, every, thank everybody for showing up on the stream. Much appreciated for the subs, much appreciated for the support, for the follows. Eight more followers and we get to the five uh, to the five thousand mark. Crazy! Um, thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, and of course, we do uh, have a game tomorrow. I'm gonna see if uh, we get the co-caster for tomorrow um, or I should see somebody to um, pick up the second slot over there. We're gonna have a SAS team go against or SAS banana SAS team I believe it's called uh, go against um, um, uh, Tuvi Monsingi TVMT. Uh, so again, a uh, good game over there as well. Uh, I'm gonna make an announcement soon enough on my uh, Discord. Uh, and uh, during the weekend, uh, we're gonna have the CCC started. So um, uh, we're gonna have Friday full, Saturday full, and also uh, Sunday uh, full of games. Uh, we might actually have a surprise guest uh, coming up on the stream. And uh, of course, uh, I do believe you know him. We're gonna see him there. I do hope uh, he's actually gonna get to join. He's gonna have time to join. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna uh, search for. Um, game on Thursday as well so we get the full uh, week going and of course uh, I do hope uh, we're gonna see each other in the next streams as well if you're coming out from YouTube I do hope uh, you enjoyed this stream throw it a thumbs up if you did and uh, throw me down a comment down below to help me out with the algorithm and of course uh, give me your opinion about um, what do you think about the stream what do you think about the game uh, and so on and so forth uh, i'm gonna be so happy to hear from you uh, at the same time you can always uh, check me out live on twitch.tv slash on spot tv i do stream most of the days and you can check out my schedule either on uh, on discord or on uh, twitch thank you so much for being here much appreciated sirs. and of course let's see each other in the next ones have a good evening bye bye michael signing up